Oh, wait, right, you know what? I'm gonna start referring to myself as Brazil now. I, yeah? I have you're gonna, to, you gotta roleplay Brazil. Brazil. Hi. Hello, stream. I'm Brazil. Yeah. Uh, I'm very angry about some things. So I'll talk about that very during angry. the stream. Um, <clears throat> just, that's about it. I was gonna say. Okay. I'll roleplay Inks then. Yeah, you're, Don't worry. But that means you have to be, you have to constantly flame the game. Actually, that's good because you've actually, uh, <laughs> that's actually, exactly what here I'm, we yes. go. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 shall we, let, shall we just bring the segue right in there, guys? No, so, no, 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 no. Right, I, what's, okay. the, what's the deal with the new world versus worlds? No, 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 you're no, not no. the okay. biggest I, fan, I, are you? Not the biggest I, fan, I, are you? Huh? No, that is, that is uh, to put it mildly, but, but actually I, I really want to hear from, from the world versus worlders, uh, first, what their perspective actually is. Well, are you not a world versus worlder? I'm not everyone. A PVE is I'm world kind of all, all over the place, but yeah. World vs. World has never really been my. Uh, well, this my is a World vs. World exclusive stream now, since Tfot is. Yeah, the it, with 3v1 here, dude. Sounds about right. We get these PVE scrubs out of this podcast. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, then, okay, so, then, fine. Yeah, let, let's just go then. Let's just go right into it then. So, uh, Roy, what's the, what, what do you think of the new system? How, how do you feel about the, the way rewards have been implemented into the game? Um, so, right off the bat, the patch is great. Uh, it's definitely a really good patch. I mean, you know, this, obviously the rewards are good. The PIP system needs to be changed, but the PIP system itself is a good idea. Um, and of course, it's, I mean, it's, this is the most population roller circle has had in probably two years, maybe. I, I mean, since certainly since the last season was out, um, but maybe even longer than that. Um, and it's the, it's the most active it's been. I mean, two is on every single map when it's not reset. There's two is really late into the night. Uh, so a hundred percent, it's, it's a good thing. The, the, you know, the biggest, the sort of two issues uh, that I've just seen right away is that it's kind of just leading to karma training. Um, I mean, I don't know how it is with other matchups. Obviously I can only comment on the, the matchups I've been in. Um, but for the first week, it was literally nothing but karma training. There were no fights. It was kind of boring, um, after a couple hours. And now this, this matchup, um, we, I'm, I'm on Gunner Souls. So we have Jade Seam, Barrack Bay, which are two sort of less fight-oriented servers, I guess you could say. <laughs> they they enjoy their ACs. Uh, <laughs> but we've actually, to be honest, we've actually gotten some decent fights with Jade C, certainly today. Um, so, sorry. Um, so, you know, I think probably fights will start to pick up again. Um, it's just really a question of whether or not I think a lot of the new players need to be sort of trained. They need to get used to World vs. World. They need to see if it's something they really want to do. Because um, obviously, I think a lot of the people are there just because they want the backpack and rewards and stuff. Um, so they have to sort of make that choice to want to commit more to it. And if they do, I think then then World vs. World will sort of keep that pop that better more uh, the better population, but also just sort of be more enjoyable uh, in general. And then the other sort of issue was um, the PIP system itself. So right now. Someone did the math and they made a Reddit post about it. And I don't know the exact numbers. I can, I can look for it in a second. I have them right here. I have, yeah, oh, I have a spreadsheet. Great, you got them right there. But so, I mean, it's an insane amount of time you have to put into World vs. World to get the max amount of tickets um, per week. And obviously, you don't have to, you know, get the max amount of tickets per week to get the backpack or the, the armor or whatever, but it'll take longer. And as it is, if, even if you do get the max amount of tickets each week, it already takes twice as long, almost twice as long as it took to get the PvP legendary backpack, and I think like three times as long uh, for the PvE backpack. So it's something you have to invest an incredible amount of time into, even if you're a sort of hardcore World vs. World player. So for the people that are just coming in now, the more casual players, I mean, to tell them they have to play 15 plus hours a week of World vs. World is ridiculous, um, in my opinion. I mean, I don't, I don't expect most of them to really be playing. Already, the queues have been dying. I mean, the first day, on last Tuesday, it was something like a hundred plus on each map or whatever, you know, and, and pretty much every matchup or every server. And now not that, not that these queues are small. And of course I'm still happy that we have this population, but it's, it's, you know, like a hundred Q on EB and like maybe 50 on other borders, which is still a lot, but it's, it's already going down. So I think that sort of just reflects, you know, those players realizing how long it's really going to take, which is a good thing in and of itself, just because then we're not all sitting in two hour queues, hopefully. Um, but I mean, it's just, it's an incredible amount of time to have to invest, especially if you're not a World vs. World player at heart. And, um, and then obviously the outnumbered buff needs to be changed, I think. Um, the loyalty bonus needs to be looked at. Uh, but I'll let, I'll let Gregor chime in. So I'm not Well, no, up. I was just, well, you said it's more of a pip problem. I think it's more of a skirmish ticket reward system problem because the amount of pips is supposed to be um, kind of, they did that two factor thing where it's supposed to reward old players. So you have that. Uh, 
you have those people who've been playing a long time. I'm, I mean, I'm platinum rank, and I know Roy's probably uh, way higher than me, and Teapot's relatively new, but he's still got rank. It's supposed to reward people who've played for a long time, but the problem That's is fine. that you can only get a certain amount of tickets per week, no matter how much you grind. And, uh, and like you said, with the disparity between getting even legendary armor in, in PvE is 13 weeks, I think it is, if you grind it out and you do all the clears and stuff, uh, compared to the amount of hours you have to put into World versus World to get even Ascended armor that you can't do as much functionally with. So um, the more question I want to ask is, what do you guys think about the reward chest, the, the pip chest they give you, and the, the rewards? Do you think that they should put in tickets from there? Uh, I know a lot of people I've talked to put think they, they should do tickets at the end of each skirmish or just do the repeatable uh, tickets at the, for the diamond reward track. Uh, do you well, guys think it's a pip or if, do you think it's a... If I may chime in, though, because uh, I have a lot to say on, on the topics that, <laughs> that both of you guys have brought up, right? Everyone's tired of me talking, so that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's all right. I'm going to take up the next half hour to, uh, getting my mind off. So uh, anyways, um, okay, so... The I've I've said this before on this pod even and, and a lot of the people in chat will will know the inherent problem with world versus world uh, as I see it is that that uh, the reward system will always be tied to a timer regardless of whatever you do it will always have to be tied to the timer because of the the design of the the game mode right you cannot incentivize uh, active play properly without uh, karma training happening uh, immediately right and that's that's the the crux of the problem. That's always going to be the crux of the problem. But that also, in turn, um, makes it so that players that are actually actively playing the game, the game mode, aren't getting properly rewarded. And those same players that are actively playing are bitching and moaning. I'm going to put it right out. Bitching and moaning about stuff like the outnumbered buff being too high, and when when in fact we should be looking at something completely different. The outnumber buff should uh, be as it is, or at least close to, in my opinion. The problem that actually lies with the outnumber buff is that it's not; it cannot be countered by active play. And so inactive and active play are, pro are equally rewarded, and it will always remain that way. And so regardless of whatever you do as a player, you're stuck in that. It's a limbo. It's a, it's a purgatory. You're never going to get out of that. And... <laughs> Whatever um, on on Reddit earlier, I saw someone saying that uh, they were going, uh, they were jumping from borderline to borderline, trying to get people out of the the outnumber buff and blah blah blah. Everyone's so pissed at this outnumber buff when that's not actually the problem. The problem is that you're not getting properly rewarded for actually playing the game. Well, can we, you... can we agree to a certain degree at least on on that? I right? think that. The main uh, problem is that so many people are just trying to AFK for the outnumber buff because it's five pips. I mean, if you're saying mm -hmm. that you think the active play should be, you know, more pips and that yeah. would incentivize, um, you know, more active play, then yeah, I mean, absolutely, that's that's not wrong. But I think as well, they could just lower the amount of pips you get from the outnumber buff. Um, and then people will not try to AFK as much. Maybe. Maybe they still will. I don't know. But you're not wrong. I absolutely agree. All right. Uh, so incentivizing um, more active play is certainly a, a good way to go. Yeah, uh, the the main uh, or one of the problems, at least that that I've always seen with World vs. World, is that it it, it uh, heavily relies on uh, what's it called uh, internal uh, incentives, right? Uh, incentric, incentric uh, yeah, incentives. You get yeah. the you get the gist, right? Um, you're not actively You're not required to actively play the game, but a lot of people over the years have chosen to do so because they like the game, right? It's the same problem that, uh, or it's not the same problem, it's the same mentality that for all intents and purposes will uh, push people to complete an utter madness for absolutely largely redundant goals, right? Which is what World versus World to a certain degree is, playing that is. But if I may uh, put this in perspective, right? Uh, largely redundant goals driven by uh, internal incentives is the same that drives people to do low man rating or dungeon speed clears, right? It's completely redundant, but we do it. The problem is that dungeons 
uh, and raids and stuff like that, they're still pretty much more rewarded, regardless of this internal uh, incentivization incentive. Um, and so we have this situation where, because you're not getting properly rewarded for actively playing the game in World vs. World, you're actively going after the ones that aren't playing the game because they're getting the same as you. I propose to you and everyone here in the in the chat that we should at least attempt to try to come up with better ideas for how to incentivize active play, right? What is actually like without uh, incentivizing karma training, right? And so. Uh, here, just, uh, just a few ideas, right? You need to incentivize defending. You need to incentivize actually uh, having higher tier uh, structures. You need to incentivize all of these things that counter the, the karma training happening while at the same time incentivizing karma training or just actively capping things, right? That, that creates this push and pull between servers where you actively want to have things but you also actively want to get more things. You need this push and pull or else the game mode will remain stagnant as it is and new players will always see this as a karma train. You saw, you said this yourself earlier. Immediately when new players came in, it, it just happened that karma train took place, right? Because it's the easiest, uh, most rewarding approach. Yeah. And that even that approach isn't really rewarded. But was that? But, but, but Arena has put in this pseudo incentive, which is like, oh, you need 2k ranks to to buy the 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 coolest armor, right? And so people are naturally going to go for the world yeah. XP. Yeah, yeah. They they've created an extension of a system that was flawed to begin with, and they've done done nothing about the actual problem that was there. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah. I get it. I, you know, that is a that is a big problem. Well, the because... patch was never really supposed to fix any of the issues that were already there. I don't think it was yeah, just supposed, was supposed to, to add more rewards. It was supposed to get more people into the game, which it did. Mm -hmm. um, but it just, like you said, it didn't fix anything else. And so those are sort of the issues that think... need to be adjusted. I mean, on the topic of rewards as well. <laughs> I mean, why? Why? I mean, eventually the PVE players are going to realize that the rewards are terrible, right? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say. That. You think they're terrible? They're, I think it's they're not that they're terrible. Well, I don't, it's just uh, maybe, maybe this is a just... relationship. <laughs> maybe from a Sorry, world versus world. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I, guess, I guess you guys are from a world versus world perspective. I guess they're they're pretty good, right? But like from any other game mode. It, it, it's trash. I'm I'm sorry. It is. <laughs> it is. You, you you get nothing. I mean, it speeds up the reward tracks a good chunk as well. But I, I don't know. I mean, I mean for... the amount of grinding. Okay, so I, I did the um on the, before the first reset. I got to the diamond chest, right? And I think I spent. I, I spent all. I did. I did like two all nighters to get to that shitty yeah. diamond chest, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, I, I was grinding really, really hard, and at the end, like you get what, like ten mystic coins. Like, oh, gee, that's good, huh? I, the, the the issue is, gold. I I, I want yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I warned um world versus world players about this before. Like putting ascended armor in in uh in world versus world is great, right? But it, it's still more efficient to just grind the gold outside of world versus world, and then. Just buy the armor. Yeah, I guess there. It's, like, it's just, it's it's like barely. It, if you craft the ascended armor through the world versus world tokens, you, you'll die of old age before you've got a full set. You know, it, it's just, <laughs> it, it, it's really really slow unless you grind really hard. Especially if you're not winning. If you're not winning, you're screwed. If you're not a commander, then well, if you're new to the game or you're not a commander, you just get nothing. Like, well, imagine you need one thousand four hundred fifty pips to max out your chest. If you're if you're a rank nothing player. And your server is trash. You're just going to be going along at one or two pips an hour, uh, two pips a tick. Like that's just the most depressing stuff ever. Uh, and you don't even get gold. You don't, you don't get good gold by doing it. Like you, you, you get nothing. It's. I think they need to put some kind of of cash into the 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 skirmish chest or something like that because right now you get like a few well, materials, a few ascended materials sometimes from the the little packet thingies. But you mm -hmm. do have to be careful though. Just to make sure that you're not just making the karma train even better because that's what that that's what would happen pretty much i mean well, if you attach, it already has okay. if you attach, no not if you attach it to the pip system surely if you, okay if you, to to, uh, to give another uh, perspective what if uh, the the problem uh, one of the problems i have a lot of problems with with world as well one of the big problems is that there is no overarching goal right there is no 
a uh, common goal for the entire server. Yes, there is to win the skirmish or to be best in the skirmish, but nobody really, like in, in the end, most people that play the game mode don't really actually care to yeah. to win. There's no mm -hmm. server pride. There's there no is, competition. There no, right? Yeah, right? And so you need you need that a final chest, that uh, um, weekly chest, bonus chest or whatever, to actually be worthwhile. Nobody wants to win the entire thing. There is no overarching goal. People are making individual goals in small groups, like I want to GVG, I want to do fights, I want to just karma train. That's what people are getting stuck in, in different communities where none of them are working together. But you need to incentivize, like say, put larger, semi-large uh, gold pots at the end of the, of the week. Incentivize people to actually work together. The problem you is with that, though, is that it brings the same problem that Seasons had, where you have people who will panic right before the transfer period is closed, stack a server as much as possible, or even have servers well, like purposely tank to the to the silver the silver league so they can smash people. That's and then it the, becomes no fun for eight other people, eight other tiers. The loyalty pit yeah, sort but, of comes into play, and you could do something similar to that, where specifically if you had it for a season or well, something. Well, can, no, they're they're. It's the loyalty pips getting changed to uh, 100 pips. Totally. 100 pips just for playing on like consecutively. It's not. And and for a season, it wouldn't matter. Or for for a week, like if I'm getting if I'm getting massive rewards from the end of the week, like screw the one pip that I'll get. I'm I'm gonna be gaining three pips from being first place all the time. Yeah. And I'm gonna be getting whatever pips from my rank. Like forget the forget the extra one. Like I'll so, be cruising anyway. So do you think they should make the loyalty pip? In, well, the loyalty pips outweigh the the winning pips then in some way, or at least like come a little bit closer to it. I think they should definitely increase the loyalty pips there needs, over there time. There needs to be something that makes players want to stay on the same server as opposed to bandwagoning. I mean, bad yeah. ban stopping bandwagoning would stop a lot of the problems with the game mode. Um, yeah. In my opinion, yeah, yeah. But I, human I nature agree. will yeah. always strive for the best thing. Like, they, there's no way to to but, not. But don't you ever just want to? Don't you ever want to like just? Make your own place. I mean, that's what that's what yeah, we're, well, we're that's, that's what we're yeah. trying to do with Underworld, right? I, I don't know. I am never. Well. I will never leave Underworld, guys. We'll make Underworld great again. <laughs> and that's, that's, I don't understand why people don't like this sort of thing. This is my favorite part about World vs. World. I mean, what I, what, what I makes it so good. great, right? It's just it's just so much fun. Though. You 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 as a server have to defeat all the other servers and and try and construct an even stronger team. Like, that's. I, that's just so much fun for me, like trying the, to actually problem, get it started. It's just the problem with that, though, is that there's like when you want to have your own community and stuff, there's very little like outside the game. Yeah, you can deny people access to your website, to your Discord, to whatever like communication systems that you use, but it doesn't actually stop outside influences in game. So if you don't like a particular place out of a person, you can't stop them from transferring to your server uh, unless it's full. And you can't stop other servers particularly ganging up on you just to target you because there's no real defense mechanism against those yeah, things. Yeah, I know so. it's really annoying, but we just farm like we just farm two v one, dude. <laughs> I, I, oh, yeah. I, these these uh, these Deso kids, these FSP kids, they're on my stream. We, they they keep coming up. They keep running us. They run us for six hours on Friday, six hours straight. We just farm them. Consist. I got two stacks of bags on reset, dude. Well, I got two stacks of bags. They just kept now, coming. It wasn't enough. Now there's more of a population. I think it's sort of easier for that to happen because. Back, you know, the last two years when there were, weren't a lot of people playing, um, I think one of the reasons that people started transferring to just higher tier servers like FSP or whatever um, was it was easier. And, you know, you didn't really have to try very hard. Um, and a lot of commanders, I mean, like from my perspective, if I'm on a server and I'm always getting matched up against like FSP or whatever, whoever, you know, the stronger server is, it's a lot harder for me um, to put that effort in because I don't have the same amount of players. I don't have the same sort of level of players. Uh, you know, there's no, there's not as much motivation. It's a lot harder for me to be able to be competitive against these servers and, and fight these servers because everyone wants to just go for this easy sort of one-one yeah. karma train farm. And so now that there's a, more of a population, and hopefully more people start getting interested in the game mode and actually want to stay and improve and stuff, as opposed to just karma train, hopefully that sort of thing will be easier and it'll be easier to to have these competitive fights with the other servers. Cool. Um, and I, I think that's, I think that will happen. Again, it, it sort of depends on if people want to stay. Um, in World of World or not. Or I think the factor of people wanting to stay, though, is a large part of the communities that they are. And that yeah. for a lot of PvEers who are relatively new to the game, their server choice didn't matter. And they never existed when people told them that it mattered. So 
uh, if they're joining particular servers. And I know some people some people complain about it. I haven't seen it, but <clears throat> where you know world view well, world view rollers are trolling people off maps or trying to get people to leave so they can get in queue spots. I see uh, that all the time. I, really, I, I, I haven't constantly. seen it. I have a very maybe a maybe very EU is just really toxic, but yeah, that that does. Yeah. Perhaps that is you plus, literally yeah. every five minutes. There's one yeah. of those messages in team chat. It is well, insane. It, 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 out. Yeah, it, it, it happens. It happens. It's not every world versus ruler though. And I I I posted about this on Reddit at one point. Um, yeah. but it's it's just some. I mean, there's there's just those toxic sort of personalities in world versus world. Those truly personalities. Yeah, yeah. And it's definitely not every single world versus ruler. I mean, I I know I I'm not the only one when I say this, but we're, I'm more than happy that there's players in world of world yeah i mean obviously the people that are playing world of world for the first time they're not good they're you know mm -hmm. i mean literally i haven't been on team speak like my server's team speak is like pretty much except for one time when i tagged up and i mean we win almost every fight it's it's a one push it's extremely easy we just run through the enemy groups and press one and the reason for that is because it's you know all these new players that don't really know how to play they don't have proper builds and stuff and they're not organized um so I you know there's there's that part of it and then obviously the part where every single world versus world who's been playing for five years you know they they see these cues there that you know they, this is like the first real update for world versus world they've had in a long time and they're really excited about it and they want to get in they want to play and they see these huge cues and they're like instantly they start blaming the PVers so I mean I I understand why it's happening but at the same time um, I'm happy that these players are here I again like I said if they if they stay in world versus world and they you know they really try to improve uh you know they try to get right the correct builds they try to get on the servers uh, discord or team speak they you know run with the tags and stuff it'll you know it'll start to improve in general and also the other the world versus world people that are unhappy about the queues they'll get used to it um and i think some of us already appreciate it i mean yeah i don't love sitting in a queue for an hour but i also don't love sitting in an empty borderland not being able to fight anything because there's just no no one on yeah so yeah. it's you know exactly. you have to you have to take it as it is, I think, and it's. And, I would. I prefer it now than uh than a month ago. I mean, you'd really have to be dense as shit if you didn't like the influx of players. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it's a win-win. Like, farm those. Yeah. Farm those plebs, dude, and also you got more people in the game mode, so you got you. Yeah. The, the population goes up. Uh, it'll I, I, it'll uh, even yeah. out, I think. I yeah, I think it will calm down in in a few weeks. Um, obviously, it's going to be very intense right now. I, I mean, I don't know. On that point with the PV scrubs, I actually think there is like. A little bit of responsibility on a lot of the PVE community as well. Is just, I, I count you. You see this in literally every game mode, but there's always that, like that one guy who's just doesn't really give a fuck about the game mode. Well, there's a lot. I, th I think a lot of the PVE community are actually like this. They're just very, very casual. So they'll, they'll just rock up in yeah. World versus World on their a completely random build, like full berserk well, elementalist. You know. I mean, you never played World versus World. You didn't know anything about it, and you started playing for a couple of weeks, and now you're really into it, and you really like it, and so do the people in your guild. And you're not, I wouldn't say you're the best world versus world in the game, what but the you're story? certainly not. I mean, you are, but <laughs> you're, you know, you're certainly, Harsh, you, you've obviously improved quite a bit. <laughs> Little you've rude. obviously gotten more organized. You're running proper builds. You're, you know, you're running as a, as a group. And it's, you know, that shows. And it's the same thing that every other player can do. And I mean, it was the same with me. I was, I was awful when I started playing. I still am awful, let's be, let's be honest. But I mean, no one that's, you know, pretty much no one that started world versus world uh, was like a god at World vs. World. So, Except Salt, you know, I think you'll yeah. find. <laughs> right, you were the exception. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so <laughs> my, my point is that it, it just takes, I mean, a couple weeks. Eh, if you really enjoy it, you know, and I, I think a lot of people will uh, start to enjoy it. I mean, it's, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. The best yeah. game mode out there. Yeah. I, 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 to, 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 give, to give a counter to that, it, it's a very easy thing to, to not find a liking to it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think those players need to stay like, there. Each to their own. Like, each to their own. Like t yeah. was saying, like, for instance, I, I don't think that the, the people who are playing World of World now, but not obviously yeah, not back. including the people that just joined for the patch, um, but the people who are playing now, they weren't playing for rewards the last four years, obviously. And... You know, the people that were playing a few years ago, they weren't playing for rewards. The people that just came in now, maybe they got in for the rewards, but if they start to enjoy the game mode, they're going to stay. Um, obviously, like Teapot was saying, the rewards in PvE are much better. It's much easier to get. So if that's all you, they're interested in, they'll leave. You guys can hear back. me, right? Just yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They, okay. I've lost com completely connection okay. here for a second. Oh, it's nope. okay. It was, just, it was me rambling as usual, so it's no problem. All right. I didn't hear half of it, so... 
I was just saying that I think the people who are in Worldless World that came to Worldless World because of the patch that are there only for rewards, I think they'll end up leaving soonish. And the people who are sort of enjoying the game mode and want to try it out more, I think they'll stay and they'll start I, to improve. I, okay, it, um, le, let me let me try to be clear, right? I think the pro I think uh, the reason why people will leave is because there is no extrinsic reward except for the 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 armors and the back piece and right there is no way to engage players actively in the in the game mode without them going out of their way to get engaged right you either karma train from the very start when you get in because there is no tutorial and there is p potentially no players around who won't flame you or won't I disagree with that that's not true okay yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool 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 but there is no tutorial right no, there's. No. If you look at Reddit the last week, in right before yeah, the patch happened, sure. right around the patch, but, okay. there were tons of posts giving quick yeah, uh, there, suggestions to new players. And on top of that, amount of on, sorry, right. No, sorry. On the official forums for Guild Wars Two in the World Wars World subreddit, uh, su subreddit in the World Wars World subsection, cool. there's. Can, can I finish there my thought here for a yeah, second? Because sure. the, I, I get that the Reddit and the community and everything can and will help. But that doesn't mean that it's in the game, and the incentive isn't necessarily there to go and find the question, the the answer, right? Okay, the, sure. You're not you're not engaged by the by the game itself to play the content as your server might want you to, like defend keeps, uh, go around and actually protect things, or join the circ. There is no no in-game tutorial to to help you do that. Sure, you can go out of your way to to get the answers other uh, other places, ask fellow players, but as we've seen, there's, or at least on the EU side, perhaps not you, there's a lot of flaming going on for new players, even asking just silly, silly questions, completely flaming them out of the chat and not even giving them answers. I'm not necessarily salty. I'm just, or because I saw that in chat for a second. I'm not necessarily salty. I'm just saying that there is no real extrinsic uh, reward system. There is only intrinsic in the long run. There, and there actually is a tutorial system, by the way. Is that right. when you when you look yeah if you load into the if you waypoint into a map there is a instructor oh that yeah, will, you can ask him is there anything Thank I should know about he tells you about camps he tells you about keeps yeah. he tells you even about the PVE mobs you can kill the jumping puzzle I it, wouldn't say it may, that not, it may any, not be the greatest thing it won't tell you about the meta but there's but, not but, less but, of an in-game system in Rollers of the World than there is in PVE or PVP I'd say as far as guidelines go I and also really by the way it. just to let you know I I play on you not Nick okay fair enough um. Uh, on the on the topic of uh wait what no, no. I, don't, I, no I don't get the burn there. no no, well, no it wasn't a burn <laughs> was just, you were, yeah, before you were saying that you, you maybe you don't know you're saying you know I don't know how it is on an A but I I play in a U primarily not an A all right cool I was just arguing for the comments in the yeah. team chat anyways um where was I the tutorial is not gonna necessarily be the be the up and down the the end all be all. The, what, what's actually going to be the, the thing that drives players is that feeling that their individual play actually engage, uh, engages them in the content. And people aren't rewarded for doing things in the game mode. People are rewarded equally for doing things as they are standing at the, at the waypoint at the start. In order to get those things, though, you have to actually play the game, whether or not if... Yeah, but that's, that's exactly it my sounds point. Like... It's intrinsic. You, well, no. You want, in you in order to else. get rewards, cool. you need participation, and in order to get participation, you have to play the game mode. Whether or not you agree with whether there's a ten-minute timer free. between you lose participation or not is a different thing. But to say that you don't get rewards, you get rewards for just sitting at the waypoint, just waypointing in, it's not true. True, you can kill a guard, you, but you don't have to take I, anything. I, I don't think a lot of people actually do that, though. Do they? Some do, but well, I, 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 I that's, that's not the, that's not a, a big at the, at the, of the, at the end of raid. Right? I'll just to be I'll honest, just chain Obsidian Sanctum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what for the fifteen I've been minutes. Doing. Yeah, just it's much. Yeah. It's but much regardless easier. of whether people are doing it or not, it's possible, and it's not rewarded yeah. to actively go out and not do that. Well, couldn't that's the same my said, argument. Couldn't you go into a raid group? I mean, because raids, you can, you know, obviously the the max amount of people in raids is ten, but it's obviously possible to you know, beat the raid wings and, and kill the bosses with less than 10 people. So couldn't the same be said that you could go into a raid group and then just AFK and have the other nine people kill the bosses for you and you get free rewards? True, but you're only mirroring my point here. 
Right. The inter- well, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't same, see that It's the same for, I, I said this earlier, right? It's the same uh, madness that drives, the intrinsic values are what, it's the same madness that drives PvE players to go and do low man things. It's the same madness that drives world versus drive the world versus world community to actively play their game because there is no reason why they should when you can actually just get the same rewards for less effort, right? Why go with five players into a raid when you can have ten and get the same reward? So why why kids. why not take the easy way out? And I mean, all I'm you're... saying is that the easy way out is just as rewarding. As the hard way, and I don't the think hard a, way is actively playing. I don't think a lot of people do take the easy way out, though. I think I think a lot of people actually kind of enjoy the game mode, because you see you see these like well, I I've seen blobs you know around this time that are basically the entire borderland. There's like no, there can't be that many people AFKing, just uh, you know tagging a guard or or you know, no, bu building I mean, a wall. Like you see like 60, 70 maps, man sure. blobs, right? But yeah, yeah. In, yeah, the, in the maps yeah. that aren't outnumbered, no one's really AFKing. I mean, there's no reason to AFK. Yeah, unless you're missing you my point. You're, mi you're missing my no, point. No, I, the point is I not understand that people, that people are necessarily doing is that they can. Yeah, well, yeah, they yeah can, I understand. There's no reason why yeah, they that, shouldn't. Yeah. No, so that exists are. in every game ever, though. Like, yeah. I mean, any I MMO, think, there's there's always yeah. ways to cheese content yeah. and cheese rewards unless you're going straight buy to win. Like, if people aren't really doing it and it's not a problem, then why does yeah, it matter? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Like, I understand well, I mean, it's I, an I, issue, but, but if it's not really a problem because the community doesn't really engage in that practice very, very much. Just because it's possible doesn't mean that people actually do it. I know you did it with the my, the okay. ruins thing, and you had it. You had a you made a video about it when that was possible. Yeah, I'm the like, reason why there's a two exa minute timer. Exactly, around the ruins. you got enough, dude. You got enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, my point. My point here is that my point is not that the inactive players should be punished or that there should be a way around or anything else. My point is that active players should be better rewarded, and they're not. Well. Sure. Okay, that's true. Although, again, I think a lot of the active players are playing because they want to play World versus World. Yeah, not cool. just because. Well, you can you can just that, that that's exactly it. That's the intrinsic value. Why aren't you getting that's more? For me. Why aren't you getting more pips? Why aren't you getting better Nothing. rewards? Why aren't you getting uh, reward track bonuses? Why aren't you getting like anything? The problem is that you're not getting anything for playing the game. You're getting something mm -hmm. for keeping your participation. I mean, I again, I to be honest, I don't, I don't really I, look. The rewards are nice, and obviously, I want the, you know, I'm happy there's a back piece and and whatnot, and the new the uh, armor, um, and I'm still gonna go for them. But I mean, again, I I I get more enjoyment, and yes, I know it's intrinsic or whatever, uh, more enjoyment out of fighting a blob and winning and or or uh, winning the matchup. And I again, I I think that's what most world vs world players are there for. I don't think most of them are for to get. 300 gold every single raid or something you know i no. that, that doesn't matter to them as much so I, is, again, I, just I don't see this as an issue i completely agree i completely agree that that should be the the value right the problem is that new players aren't necessarily getting um you can't expect a game mode to solely be, be sold on its intrinsic values right because you right. have to acquire those first before you then enjoy the game and so new players will never come into the game mode as long as that is the main value of the game. Yeah, they have because there was a, a, a pseudo uh, extrinsic value. You have all the armors right now, but then people are going to realize that it's going to take too long and there's no way for them to actively go around and play the game and get get those things faster. The mm -hmm. only way that... Or the, the best way is to just keep your participation regardless of how you do it uh, you, you need you need a better pip system you need a, a better extension of this system you need to encourage people to actively do something because you're not going to just get well, people then, to to play for the sake yeah, of yeah. i mean if you want to go overboard with it then just change the participation decay timer to 30 seconds after you don't do anything and just change oh, the 30 seconds to, but well. then you're gonna well you're if you want to if you want to make it so as well there's as well that's well, no, because there are people who are actively playing the game. Thirty seconds. I know it's hyperbole. I know, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah, you could you could lower it. Yeah, there needs there needs to be. I was going to mention this. The, the the shared participation thing needs to be looked at because the original idea behind it was to reward people who were scouting, um, who weren't going to be with the main group, who were going to be sitting in a tower or whatever. Um, and that was a great idea, but the problem is now that scouting is basically you don't need to do it anymore. You're not upgrading anything because upgrades are all automatic. 
Um, and upgrades are, are just redundant. Take... Mm, no. Why, why do you say they're redundant? Because they don't give you anything. They they make it so that uh, say um, uh, oh. a tier three tower has the same uh, points per tick as a tier one tower. Okay. The only difference the only difference is that it's harder to cap for the enemy team. It's easier to defend. It's easier to get around with. Like that's it. You don't get anything for uh, keeping that. So maybe every tier three really. tier three keep you flip. You should get you know ten tickets or something or five Actually, tickets. No, I, I think my, my um, well, yeah, this is the problem, no. problem right? <laughs> if you, wait, wait, wait. You, can't, you can't, if you, you can't put this in the game, keep armor training. My well, oh, it's tier three. Not All if right. it's properly defended. I mean, no. you can defend okay. it. Can I? Can I come with a? Can I? Can I give an yeah. example here? You don't. You don't want to uh, incentivize flipping the tier three towers. You want to incentivize defending them. You want to say your entire borderland gets an extra pip if you have three tier three towers. I don't. I think, I mean, both should be incentivized because yeah, at the moment, it's, exactly. it's really like I said annoying earlier. to flip tier three stuff. You have to really want to flip yeah. them to, because it's it's really awful Aids? to try yes. and, 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 and then I know. Then it's any server can terrible. just run up the I score. Mean, you can, it, like, for instance, the matchup that I'm in that I was just talking about, I mean, these you know, these servers that sort of enjoy sitting in keeps and stuff and on siege and, you know, that's they want to play, whatever. But it's just really aggravating to people who are, you know, they're trying to get fights and stuff. They go to these tier three keeps you know, with 80 people, and they put two rams upon a gate, and in, in half a second, all your supply is drained because of trebs. All both the rams are destroyed because of the ACs or disabled or whatever, and you've gotten nowhere, and you've lost all your supplies, and now these enemies are just still sitting in their keep on their siege. So it's you. You want to there's there has to be something to make you want to attack the keep, not incentivize defending it more because but like defending I, like, it. Like like I said so, earlier, like I said earlier, right? You need the push and pull. There has to be a push and pull. If the push and pull doesn't exist, you will either have uh, karma training or just completely siege keeps all over the place. Those are the two extremes. You need that push and pull. You want to incentivize both defending it, but you also want to incentivize getting them. Right. The problem is that that only That's exists it. so much that you're assuming it's an even matchup. When if you have a push and pull, if you're encouraging and anybody the to out defend, number buff like, comes in. Well, even matchup doesn't well, no, matter. Because the if servers I have, that are getting destroyed, they're going to get pushed down anyway. Yeah. So, if I have I people mean, who fine. play when you go to sleep, like, I'll have tier 3 stuff, I'm just going to run away with the score anyway. And you're not going to be able to flip it because you have nobody on your you have nobody on your, your matchup anyway that's going to take it from me. True. So I, it just incentivizes somebody who's already on a stack server to say, you know, I got mine, suck it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I definitely see where you're coming from. But... No matter what, there's no way getting around bandwagoning and bunching together in this in the same server. There's no way getting around that. That is human nature to go for the easy uh, the easy way out. But as a competitive mode, that's my proposal. There has to be that. Yeah, I, I think it would be really great to have something like that, but I think it would be extremely difficult to implement. And that's I think that's why they haven't done that uh, because they they already are. Uh, kind of wary of, of people uh, bandwagoning and gaming the system, and that's already a, a, you know, a bit of a problem. You already have these kind of stacked servers. And to a certain extent, the community has, is trying to deal with that, right? I, I mean, as I, as I understand it, a bunch of guilds will actually meet up and kind of distribute themselves amongst servers to try and keep things a little bit more even than the, than the algorithm's actually doing on its own, right? And, um, and that goes both ways, too. Uh, like, as much as people try to distribute themselves, there have been yeah. instances in the past where people try to purposely stack. So. Exactly, yeah. And, with, yeah. and with the way how population is calculated, you can game that system uh, just as equally. So, yeah. I think it, uh, it's very the only way to, to execute a system like The this. only way to mm -hmm. fix something like that is for ArenaNet to be more active in the, in the selection, so to speak. <laughs> Locking server. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. We can keep laughing at it, but it's the only way to fix it. Because if you want to get an actual competitive system in in place, you need active moderators, or it just crumbles. And that's yeah, the hard that's truth. True. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. They don't. They don't do a great job of that. For they sure. need to either lock servers or throw people around or uh, anything. I don't know. Yeah, population is the hardest thing to solve, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as, as long as people can transfer, you're always going to have issues around this kind of mm -hmm. stuff. People going crazy and and because because they want because they want to have the the easiest time, don't they? They want to make it easy for them, and they just want to farm people. Is is at the end of the day what a lot of people want to do? 
uh, in any every game, and it's not just World vs. World, of course, it's, it's PvE as well. I mean, uh, PvE, PvP, like everyone wants to basically just have it. Like, it's why you have the farm servers in PvP. It's why you have just uh, the, like the NG farm in PvE, and, and it's why you have like people just in an in eighty man blob running over to, over tiny little squads all day in World vs. World. People want if people do want the easy way. They want they do want the easy route. That's why some people do the the AFK stuff, like repair a wall every ten minutes and just keep that participation up, right? Uh, so it, with a with with a with a game mode like World vs. World, it's always going to be extremely difficult uh, to to actually get these rewards in a, in a way that isn't going to be easily exploitable. I'm not even sure if it's particularly possible. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Arena are obviously very aware of this, which is why they've based every single uh, reward system they have on a timer. Yeah, yeah, because exactly. That's, yeah. that's the way their game mode is designed. It's, it's designed to just be easily exploitable. <laughs> so uh, so as, 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 a, as a middle ground, then, there's something that could be done pretty easily. Why not just buff it a little bit? Because I think it's pretty weak, weak source right now. Because, I mean, which, the, which is, e sorry? easy way to stick people to the game mode is is to just give them some carrot. And right now, mm -hmm. I feel like if you're a new player coming into World vs. World, it's, it's a like shriveled, half-rotten carrot. Mm. Right. The, the gap between uh, pips are immense. The rank pips fucking immense. They, uh, it seems like Arena had wanted to uh, uh, pat veterans, uh, veteran World vs. World, are so hard on the back that they just gimped out every single new player coming in. Yeah, it seems like they, they really wanted to get players in, but they didn't really think well, too much about keeping them in for more than, like, two days. Yeah. And <laughs> Well, that's you know. the thing, right? Like, with the with the tickets, if you can... I think, world, like, dedicated World v. World, there should be petted on the back for, for playing yeah. too long. And obviously not at... Purposely not at the expense of new players, for sure, but there has to be something uh, that signifies that, you know, you should get more rewarded for the more time you play. Like that's yeah, just I mean, the inherent thing that everyone thinks. Again, you could just you could give people an X amount of tickets depending on what rank they were when the patch hit. Um, you yeah, can just, just, like just and then and then kind of make everyone uh, start to. That's what I'm I like. I heavily I mean, disagree that veteran players should be more rewarded. I I have I, I completely agree that they should be faster rewarded. They should get more pips. Higher ranks should be incentivized in some way, uh, but, way shape or form, but. No, you sh you shouldn't be getting more rewards. Well, it, I, I mean, but if if they're getting fast rewarded, that means it, that the players who are newer aren't going to be getting rewards as fast. And again, yeah. that just comes back to the point where you're, they're not staying in this world. It's, it makes them want to leave faster if they're not getting rewards. If they're not seeing those rewards, and then if you make everything sort of even, so that way newer players aren't getting those rewards as slowly or even faster than the veteran world world players, it's going to piss those veteran world world players off. So if you don't give them anything right off the bat for having played the last four years with next to no rewards, mm -hmm. then you're going to piss off the veteran with from players. Yeah, and those are the people who but, have actually have stuck with your game right. for the longest time and have yeah. not just coming in lately just because there is a reward system. Yeah, no, I really, yeah, but, I really I mean, like that. Ideally, those I really are like the, the players you want because those are those are the easiest to maintain. You don't have to put in a system. They don't care about rewards. They're masochistic in a sense where yeah. you but can the pretty much do whatever you want to. Im immense though between veteran players, like hardcore players, uh, and then new players, because one pip versus like what five pips is the difference between uh, twenty four and eight hours. Yeah, you, can say the, in there. you can say the same thing. The difference between me grinding for two years is the same thing as me okay. not having the same amount of people as my map. Like so I get more pips. If, imagine, imagine if that system was implemented in every other game mode or ev any other game you've ever played. Right? Okay. If PvE had that same barrier to entry as World vs. World where you had to have been a veteran for four years to get the same number or the same amount of rewards or the this just anything in the same uh how would you feel i mean i i personally just wouldn't if because i, mean, I, I had 500 uh, and I uh in legendary no. insights i was getting double uh raid drops just from doing the same work as you how would you feel but you've been doing it for longer like that's a yeah, metric but I that you have be, to include I, just because I have those legendary insights shouldn't give me anything other than that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a, that is a point, you know? Uh, you know, having pips tied to what was around. You look at it like that, it is kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. So what do you do with the, uh, the extra 9,000 rank points that yeah. people with 10k rank have? Yeah, but there's the 14 people. 
There's 14 people with 10 okay. kills. So, those, so now, so now we're just the, like the first who doesn't matter have, then. Have, the first guy who got to 10k points. ranks, the first guy who got to 10k ranks, he was a karma farmer who uh, uh, was uh, account sharing. Yes. Okay. He currently has to spend exactly like eight World hours World. standing still in the key <laughs> to get the full reward as everyone else. Does that sound fair? I mean, anyone committed I to don't it. Know what he did. Like it. Like it. Yeah, so a guy you, a guy broke the TOS to achieve something. Like, no, it's not fair because he broke the rules. Like, that's well, an inherent yeah, argument. Like, that's not the point. That's not the point. Fair, but the plenty of people have done it without account sharing. I look. I think that I think you're right as far as new players. They need to be encouraged to go into the game mode more. Um, obviously, if I was a, a new a brand new world versus world player, um, and I wasn't as interested in playing world versus world as I am now. It would be a lot harder for me to want to get into it just because I'd be very daunted by how much work I actually have to put in. Um, but at the same time, you can't you can't just throw all these new players in, give them the exact same reward as the players who've been playing for four years with really nothing. In my opinion, I mean, I just I think that would piss a lot of the veteran world of players off, and it would hurt the game mode in the end. That's because... that's why I think like you you go away from the pip system. Well, not go away from it, but you ignore it and try and find a solution where. Um, Getting pips is fine, but if I'm a new player and I'm excited to play and I play a lot, then yeah, I should be able to grind out more rewards than an old player who doesn't play at all. So the way you do that is that you make that last that last diamond chest repeatable, right? Because I'm grinding out the game mode, I'm playing a lot, so I should be able to get more rewards from it, right? Not just as soon as I get the diamond, I'm done playing for the week. Like That's how you incentivize new players who are excited about the game to play it. Not say, well, because you're you're new, we have to cater to you a bunch more than the people who've actually stuck with us. No, no, no. You shouldn't be catered it's to more. You same. should just be ca catered equally. Yeah. It's that there is there there's a huge gap between equ uh, between the new and old players, and it should just not be there, or there should be some kind of equal footing. So there's no incentive then to stick with the game mode then. Like if you know, like but why would should, I well, stick with it? But apparently right? there there was that was that was the whole thing with intrinsic values and well, no, everything. because now I, I know the, the game, company's gonna burn me. Like, but if you no no no, no they they're, they're not they're not gimping out veteran players for not giving them their deserved uh, rewards, right? You've it's stuck with it. Cost. You've stuck with it for four years for a reason. Why should you now that a new thing is coming out? Why should you have better access to it than everyone else? Because I played the game mode for longer. But that's not equal. You're not making it it's equal. It's not supposed for to be equal. People, yeah, people who've played for the last inherent, four years are obviously like, at a much higher level. And I'm I'm not trying to that's be like saying, but like if I if I've been playing rules for four years and someone just comes into the game mode brand new, obviously I'm going to be better than them at it. Um, and I'm not saying that just because I'm better than them at it, I have to get better rewards. But again, I I think that what Gregor's trying to say is that if you have been playing World of Worlds for as long as we have, and they just now added this patch, and they don't reward the veteran players at all, it's going to bother a lot of the veteran players. I'm not saying they have to. Obviously, they don't have but, to. But, but, but I think they should. Okay, because, this, is a, because, this is the genuine because question, Because World right? vs. World has basically no, no, that, been getting ignored for the last four years. Let me, let me, okay, let me phrase this uh, differently. Um, for four years... You stuck with a game mode because you liked it, yeah. Right? You played uh, it extensively. Okay, you didn't like it. Apparently, you stuck I didn't like it, it, but there's no there's no other game that compares Wait, to it. But, <laughs> you didn't like the game. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's not wrong with that. That's like, that's you, like if you go oh, okay. every time there's a new MMO release, like uh, BDO or Arcade, you see play. people posting on the forums. All right, see you later, bud. And then it sucks, and then they come back in three months. Them leaving isn't saying, oh, man, Guild Wars 2 is just so great, dude. They're saying, this game sucks. We haven't been motivated to play it. I'm looking for a chance to jump ship. And when it comes back, is if they're not coming back because they've introduced rewards. They're, they come back because the mechanics are so good. But, okay. Um, you Let me go back to where I started then, yeah. right? And just say, you played this game mode for four years... Right. For some reason, yep. because it was either because you liked it, or because it was the 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 word the better of two evils, or whatever you wanna you wanna phrase that as, right? You've gotten your fun. Why? Because you played it. Should you have any better rewards 
than pl the players just entering the new game mode or the same game mode. You've already had your fun. You've already gotten your rewards from doing 4,000 ranks or whatever. Why are you entitled to more? Uh, to be honest, My argument is that you're just, you're not, you're, you're not entitled to anything. And for anyone saying that I'm just a salty PvE or no, this is no. not what I'm arguing no, in any no, way, shape, or yeah. form. I actually don't, I don't think you're I don't think you're you're really wrong to be honest. And it, this is similar to yeah. when Heart of Thorns came out, how they you know they didn't uh, they 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 gave the core game mode with Heart of Thorns, so you could buy both at the same time. And a lot of people got mad, but then a lot of people were also pointing out that you played uh, Guild Wars for two years before Heart of Thorns came out, or three years, whatever. Yeah. So you've already gotten that value of the game, and that's that's pretty much I think what you're saying, and that's not wrong. I agree with that. I think you're right. I think that, and again that these new players, you know, shouldn't be so daunted, you know, right when they come into World of this World and see that it's so difficult to get rewards. Um, but at the same time, if you ask any veteran World of this World player, you know, how they feel about ArenaNet or how they feel about the communication with ArenaNet or if they feel like that ArenaNet cares about them, et cetera, et cetera, they're going to tell you they don't think that ArenaNet cares about them. And if ArenaNet really doesn't care about them, fine then don't give them anything to show that. But I think that's wrong, and I think that ArenaNet should want those players to stay in the game, and I think ArenaNet should want those players to have to, you know, to feel like they're cared about. And well, to, put, to put that argument on, on edge, right, why should they necessarily cater more to uh, some players than other players? Why not just they're cater not. to the player base? And make it they're a not. good experience for all. I mean, if, if you're a new player to World vs. World, that means you haven't been playing for the last five years, right? So you don't have those ranks that these players do. But in a year from now, you do have these ranks. You're going to be on equal footing with them. Uh, well, I mean, you'll be slightly behind, obviously. But you'll still have the that additional pip uh, reward as opposed to people who are just getting in a year from now. And I mean, I, I think that makes sense. I don't think that there's, you know, that you should have to I don't think that people who've been playing for the last four years getting an extra reward really doesn't make sense. I think that does make sense. I'm again, I think that I think the real problem, just from my perspective, is that it's harder for new players to get in. And I think that's the problem. I don't think the problem is rewarding yeah. people who have been playing for four years. But but the problem lies right there. For new for new players, the barrier to entry for new players is exactly caused by the gap between new and old players. The the privilege and the inequality that veteran players are now prospering from is what is How are the they exact prospering? barrier to entering. I mean, they just have to play. They just have to karma train less than other people, I, I guess. Mean, but they're still going to end up playing that, the same amount. Is that the same thing for the for the ranks then? Because I played World v. World, I can use Burning Oil Mastery. Uh, is that should should we just ditch that no, whole no, system that, then? That, because that's, that's like the, same the mastery thing. system it's, in in the rest of the game. It's player but, progression. But the mastery is, the mastery system. That's not, the rest yeah, of the it's game not a reward. Really it puts you off from any rewards. Yeah, I, I think yeah, Droyer is right, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, Droyer is right here. Uh, I didn't think about this because I was kind of just excited, basically, to grind the world versus world rank so I can get some more pips. But Droyer is right. Uh, it, it's you know, it, it's it's fucking daunting, man. Like, I mean, I, I kind of go, holy shit, this is taking ages. I'm getting but six pips I'm per not, tick, right? I'm not but saying imagine it's if not. you're getting like two pips per tick. Like, well, that's just actual hell. Uh, you just, I mean, if, if you, if you want to try and get, you, you, there's no carrot, you know, there's no carrot, so you can learn to love the game mode, you just get smacked with the stick. Uh, and that's, that's not a, not a way to go about it. I mean, having the, the world versus world ranks attached to masteries is fine, right? Because that's, that's a horizontal progression, it's not anything to do with the rewards, but winning more just because you've been around more is... I guess that yeah, it's, that is not that's winning kind of, more. You are winning, not winning more, more though. It, it is. No, you're, you're, what do you, what do you, mean, mean, you mean, mean by winning more? I, I, I mean you're getting, getting more rewards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get sure. get more swag, dude. You get more swag just because you've been around longer. Well, no, you don't get more. You just get there quicker. You're still capped so at 175. That's the, that, that, so that, 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 that's the same game thing. Time, you are that's getting more. That's the same thing. Uh, I, I mean, I would say that most, I don't know, like most people who don't play World versus what a lot are not going to cap out on tickets a week. Right. Yeah. So I think the cap should be lowered, but I, I still think that veteran World of players need to be recognized. Uh, and again, th it isn't something that Chiba and Doro, you're both you're both correct when you say that, you know, technically there's, how do I say this, I guess no reason to reward these players except for the fact that I think it'll just make them feel better. And I mean, it's maybe that's stupid. I don't know. But Again, I think you're going to piss off a lot of people who have been playing the game mode for four years if you don't. 
and and may, they, again, maybe they don't care about that. But if they don't care about that, that's really unfortunate from my perspective. Um, I mean, yeah, th that's how you get people to care about it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. Yeah, I, sure. I think, I <laughs> think wrong. really, I, hate you. I think it's, I think it's less of a, of an issue with veteran players getting rewarded more than new players. I think it's more of an issue with the system itself needs to be lowered overall. What a better I think way that, of doing which, it. Okay. Which system? Sorry, which system? Oh, sorry, ahead, well, the PIP system. Like, the basically, basically, you have to... That it's so difficult for new players to to get these rewards, basically. Um, I, you know, I just... I think... I think that the this, it needs to be easier to get rewards overall. I think it, it needs to be easier to... You shouldn't have to spend 20 hours a week to max out your, your reward yeah. track. That's too much. That's, I think that's, I, what, that's the bigger issue. I don't actually uh, have an issue with the time spent. The, the, the issue that I have is that the time spent is, is unequal between players. That's it. it. It could be 24, it could be 75 hours, uh, it could be 8 for everyone i wouldn't care as long as it's equal the, the and inequality... you would feel the exact same way if you've been playing world this world pretty much full time for the last five years coming from a pve perspective where we have we haven't gotten that handed to us just because we've been there for the longest time ever i mean okay but you've also I, got i, 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 I see i see a gotten, lot of i, I see the also argument, updates i see every your two argument months. is coming from a yeah. very uh entitled position you feel very entitled because you've been here, but you're not entitled to anything. I don't feel entitled because I've been here. I but feel that's, entitled that's because no, I haven't gotten anything like. from ArenaNet in the last five years for my game mode. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I said I don't feel entitled because I've been here for longer than you. I feel entitled because I haven't gotten anything other than the intrinsic value in, uh, okay. from ArenaNet. Okay, the last okay. Five years. so fine. What, what if the, okay, so maybe they should have gone... Uh, no, we don't even know. Listen, who the fuck is, who's this kid? Feel entitled to world versus world rewards? No, it's it's not that. It's just that uh, you you don't want people to like just fucking run away because it takes them fucking ages to grind it. So yeah, fine. So maybe you okay. So you could go in two different directions. Okay, so you could lower lower the cap so you cap out on tickets quicker, and then you just grind like the the monetary rewards, the reward track boosts faster if you have the the thing if you have higher rank, right? Or you could say something like every you, okay, they could rework the rank system so it caps out a thousand, right? But everyone who's got over that, you still have the number. You still have the number going up to 10,000, okay? But after those extra ones, because say, say you were at 10K, you'd have 9,000 points that you can't spend, right? Because there's only 1,000 things to spend on, right? You have 9,000 rank points, world versus world ranks. Just suppose you could trade those in or something. You made those into a currency, and you could yeah, then... I'd be happy to yeah. You could then... Yeah. You, yeah, so so why not have that instead of having a permanent bonus for but, having played? Except isn't that sort of the same thing? Because no. you, because well, you don't have that TDE, do you? No. You can't trade in mastery ranks for no, no, no. But this is, diff this is a different game. This is a, this is a different game. Never mode, used. So it's, it's a di there's a different situation here. So what if you there's all the work you've done? You've done those ten thousand ranks. Uh, you've done those ten thousand ranks. You've got nine thousand spare. So just say right, okay, we're gonna go ahead and let you guys trade in five of those for a ticket or something like that. Right, uh, uh, and uh, you know, or something like that. That's sort of what I was saying before that. I think that the system should be different, but I still think that people who have these, you know, 10,000 unused rank points should be able to do something with them. Like, you guys, you guys are correct as far as saying that, you know, it's not, it's not equal and that isn't necessarily right. I agree with that. But I still think that, as Teapot was saying, there needs to be something to do with these uh, rank points. Um, I mean, you just, it just, it doesn't, from my perspective... Right. It, 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 it's just going to really piss off a lot of people. And I guess that's what it boils down to is it's just going to really piss off a lot of people. And maybe would you don't it, have to care about that, but I think you should. Would it have pissed you off if it wasn't already in the game? Now that it's in the game? You you don't have the perspective that it could have been? It was pissing me off. Yeah. Yeah. No, but like assuming the PIP system was put into the game now and the ranks weren't considered. Yeah. Yeah. Would that piss you off? What if well, what it's if been all, bothering? What it's if been it, bothering what every if single still, What if the two K ranks still cut off the rewards that you could buy, but the ticket amount would remain the same because of your rank? So there was still a a bonus 
but a, a but a minor one and not a permanent necessarily to having the higher ranks. But you just right. didn't no. didn't get the pips. But that's that's pretty much what Teapot was just saying that you can trade in those rank points for rewards, but it's not permanent. You, you have to you have to get to those ranks to you know mm-hmm. you're not while while playing you're not getting that permanent bonus. And I'm fine with that. That yeah. would be okay with me. But that's not uh-huh. that's not what the system is now. And it, if there was no system like that, yes, I would be mad. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna derail for a second just uh, uh, because of a a comment. I, I kind of want to comment on real quick. Uh, Disco Jason uh, has completely uh, misunderstood my point and is being absolutely uh, uh, dumb in a comment saying, uh, uh, DeRoyer, oh, I'm going to do raid for the first time. Why don't I already have legendary armor? That's not the argument. That's never been the argument ever. The argument here is to compare it to raids is that why? Because I've done uh, enough raids to have... Lower boss say, HP. Five... It would be like having lower boss HP. Yeah, or something like that, or less like, mechanics, or less damage. Just because, just because I have played the uh, raid for a long time, I have a lot of uh, uh, insights already. Why should I have uh, double rewards? Why should I be getting an easier time? Why should I be getting anything? Why shouldn't I just be getting the same experience as a new player coming in? It has nothing to do with the legendary rewards. It has nothing to do with the the cap of the armor. It is just why should I? as a long-time player, be rewarded more than a new player coming into the mode. That's it. That's literally it. Don't misinterpret it. Don't be I mean, dumb. Would you would you say that in the same sense uh, for fractals then too? Because your fractals have a, a personal reward level that if you've grinded fractals out longer, you have access to those rewards that new players don't have. You can do so that. Would you, would you put yeah, that but if you're not talking about the yearly, I, 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 see, I see the dilemma here, right, uh, that, that you're putting forth. But um, getting Fractal 100 uh, can theoretically, with the right gear, with the right approach and the mindset, uh, be done in less than a week. Okay. I did it from well, 50 to 100 in a single day once Hardathons launched. It is very easy. You just and, have to and, have and, the mindset. You and can't if you do want to, you can have so. someone open it for you. You don't have yeah, to. Do, you, you don't even that, have to do every have. single fractal. Yeah. You don't have to do every. But single you don't one. get. But you don't get the reward from it, though, do you? Like it doesn't yeah. increase yeah, you, your you, personal. Uh, uh, above a certain point, I think some of the uh, the daily rewards are locked off until you've done like fifty plus or something. It's something like that, and then it it unlocks forward. Um, so some of them are locked off, yeah, but. Theoretically, you can still have the same, the the exact same armor and everything, and go in. Yeah, I mean, ten thousand world versus world rank is a bit more of a grind than fractal one hundred. <laughs> That's the thing, use the right? same mindset to farm world versus world for, uh, to farm your world versus world. Don't worry, I am. The thing is, right, as salty as you guys think I am, I'm very active in world versus world right now. Yeah, I've I've been playing this for the the last week, and I've really been enjoying it. The thing is, I really really like World vs. World. I want it to be good. I want it to be better, but it's not there, and I'm not gonna see through fingers on that. I still enjoy it. I still like it, but it's not perfect. It's nowhere near perfect. I mean, you've played more than the last week, right? Yeah. Obviously, I came back to it. Okay. I haven't played it before the the whole pip system came in, or I have played it before. I haven't played it for a long time before the pip system came in. Okay. But I really do enjoy it, and I'm really looking forward to getting my 2K ranks to get that armor. I have no problem doing that. It's just that regardless of whether I like it, there's an inequality in the community, and nobody's really addressing it. That's all I'm seeing. Everyone's pointing a lot of fingers at the easy pips, the outnumbered buff. When I think we should be pointing at active ways to get pips instead of inactive ways. I want there to be more incentive to actually play the, the game mode, to, to defend keeps, to defend towers, to defend uh, camps, and all, vice versa, also taking those instead of just the usual v, uh, world XP. Right now you have a competitive system with the, uh, with the pips uh, system, which isn't competitive. Because the the only people getting caught are the people in the second place. Those are those people are in like four pip purgatory. There's no way to increase by actively playing. There's no way to necessarily decrease it, unless you're playing shitty. 
if you're in the in the third place, you're at least possibly getting the outnumber buff uh, more uh, more often. But well, people in second you place, can, you can increase it. It just takes a long time because yeah. you just have to grind the rank. If it's a, it, it's but not an issue. About it's just immense, an issue of time. But it, it's not a moment to moment uh, incentive to play. It's it's a long term vision that you have to have for yourself to get that extra pip. Yes, you have to play for for to Very get rewarded. Yes. yes, that's that's all I want. I, I that's all I want for Wolf as well, is for them to incentivize me to do to to do something else than potentially. Not I'm not saying that I necessarily necessarily am or will or anyone necessarily can or will, but they need to incentivize me to do something else than potentially stand in the in the waypoint killing a guard every nine minutes. And they're not. So, then, yeah. no, so, that's, so wouldn't that's, you just? I'll, I agree with that as well. Yeah, but wouldn't? But for fix for that, wouldn't you just change how the participation timer, how the decay is on that, the time at which it decays? No, we, you could... the the thing is, it, the moment you start uh, fiddling with the participation timer in general, you're actively hurting everyone, both the active and the inactive ones, because the the inactive ones will just well, no, well no, because the active just ones run up and kill a guard every five minutes or run in a circle. Like still, right now, even with even with me having cha gotten the participation changed to two minutes for uh, all the what's it called those uh, the, the PvP circles. ruins After the, the ruins yeah. right you can still run in a circle and get them you, the time the, the the decrease in the capture time is fine that you well, can not if you already have blood be loss. active huh not if you not have bloodlust not blood. if anyone intercepts your route yeah right. but I mean it's e it, it's easy to get around being inactive but there's no way to not just go about being active and getting more from it. That's 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 the main problem that I see. Yeah. I just I want active world versus worlds. I want players who are defend like scouts and sh uh, all the people that are actually roaming, killing people, killing a thousand players in in a in a in a single fucking skirmish. Get fucking extra ten pips at the end of that skirmish. I don't care anything that counts up to to. Active players getting more for playing the game. If you want to talk about so not making scouting uh, less rewarding, then you should reroll Heart of Thorns because it, they basically destroyed having scouts with Heart of Thorns. Yeah, the the heartbeat sensor on top. There's and all there's, up, there's sure. automatic upgrades now, so scouts have less uh, of a job to do. And like Gregor just said, the watchtower. Um, obviously, scouts are still helpful, but it's you don't mm -hmm. they're not as necessary. They don't like who cares? Yeah. You don't need. There, I mean, there were people who used to be, like, dedicated scouts. And, I mean, some people would laugh at them because they're like, oh, you AFK in a tower for 10 hours. But they still enjoyed doing it. They, you know, they that was what they wanted to do. They wanted to go into Worldless World and scout a specific keep or tower for a really long time. But now there's no reason to do that. Uh, you don't need to have them. So, I mean, just right, just with scouting specifically, if, you know, you want to talk about rewarding them, that's what the participation, shared participation was for, but now no one's using it for that because no one is scouting. Because of yeah. Heart of Thorns. So, you know, you have to change, you have to make those changes before you can even start to think about rewarding scouts. But, um, I'm sorry, wait, what What changes do you want to... So with Heart of Thorns, all the upgrades in... Yeah, yeah, yeah I get that part. They're but... automatic, right? And so that was part of the job of, of a scout. Uh, and then also there's a tactivator called a watchtower. Or not a tactivator, sorry, a, 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 an upgrade for, I get for it. towers. Yeah, 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 I know. Mm -hmm. the thing. Called a watchtower, right? Um, which basically just marks enemies that are near the, the location. So if you have that, you don't need a scout. True, but that the the tactivator requires a higher uh, tier tower, doesn't it? You can't activate uh, that, it in that, tier one that, tower. Well, no, yeah, but I mean, no, you that's wouldn't, a you wouldn't really. Delay. That's not a. That's not a. No, 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 it's a. It's a. No, it's a thirty it's, thirty it's minute delay, delay, but or it's, it's timer, true. but. Um, huh? But again, like I don't really care about a, a paper tower. I'm not going to worry about defending it. I wouldn't have a scout on it anyways. I'd have a scout on something that isn't paper. Oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah. but the thing is, you, as I said earlier, you you uh, you need as you need an incentive for the server as a whole to defend that paper tower, so that it becomes more than that. I mean. Sure, but why not? Why why wouldn't you want to incentivize it's a the paper end? tower? It's, oh yeah, yeah, but the the paper tower just, can can, can become it's a it can become a glorious tier three tower though. It can, but it imagine, I mean, that's imagine now. if imagine if owning three tier three towers 
at the same mm -hmm. time would give you uh, an extra pip at the end of like as long as your holding is for every five minutes. It, it the entire server. You're one incentivizing person, more than one person to stay at that tower. Three? Huh? I mean Sorry? that's you get I mean, one that, pip that, for upgrading three towers in tier three. No, 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 long... not for upgrading it, for holding it. Well, you have to upgrade them to tier three before you can hold them. Yeah, sure. All right. It, but you get that, the gist, that, right? That's such a yeah, long-term long thing three. compared to an average person. It's like if an average pug comes in here, he's not going to say, well, I'll sit this tower for three or four hours so I can get an extra pip at the end of the day. That's yeah. a much longer than an average pug's playtime. If they're just coming in, if they're only motivated, motivated by rewards, it wouldn't stick around for one extra pip. They'd go join the guy who's zerging, like who's blobbing down the enemy group because that's more yeah. participation. Well, that's that's yeah, more active. But, that's more everything. But then you, as a, the thing is, as a server, imagine if it's not on an individual base. That it's not because this scout held uh, the tower for X amount of time that he's now getting that that pip for himself. Holding the three towers should be a server-wide thing. That way, everyone is incentivized to keep an eye on those towers, to keep those uh, on your uh, on your side, and nobody suffers. But the, pro it, well, it's the not problem about with it. that is that because it's that requires a lot of coverage and a lot of things that the player can't control. Uh, because if I have people who play when you go to sleep, you're not going to have tier three towers just because you have no one to defend them. Period. True. So but if I have, why not have, if a, I have extra people? Why not? Then have I, get a, to, so I get to wake up in the morning and get extra pips just for doing nothing. Night night capping used to be more of an issue because. Like Gregor was saying, if you have someone who plays at nighttime, this was before the skirm skirmishes were introduced. If you had someone who played at nighttime, then they could just flip everything. And basically, there's like a six hour or seven hour period during the day where the majority of points for the winning server was 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 taken. That was during the nighttime. It's especially more evident on EU because there's only really one time zone. With skirmishes, I mean, it still happens, but it's a lot less of an effect because skirmishes are all worth the same. So if you make tier three keeps worth more then you kind of go back to the same night capping thing, even with skirmishes, because they're adding more to the war score. Unless you're just talking about rewards from, from flipping two or three keeps. If you're not saying they give you more towards your war score, and you're just saying they give you more of a personal reward, then yeah, I mean, I think that, that also makes sense. That, that would incentivize cap, uh, capping and defending those two or three towers. Yeah. But again, I mean, probably it's just going to get flipped a lot during the night. I mean, it's not really going to affect but anything. Then better yeah. get but, it back then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Better exactly. Go get it back. The thing is, I, well, I don't necessarily right. see the problem with night capping uh, as much as like. As long as it doesn't affect the outcome of the matchup. But it will always affect the outcome of the matchup. But it doesn't as much with skirmishes, is what I'm saying. So I'm saying if you have a tier three keep and you're, were you when you said you 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 get more for for flipping flipping or defending the tier three keep, do you get more of a personal reward or do you actually does that. Reward he, the he, he was saying pips, so that's personal reward. I don't okay. think he's so if it's, again, if it's, if it's a personal reward, then unless fine. you were, sorry, I, don't know. I, I was saying that it should be a server wide pip. It should be a, a goal that your server could work towards. Yeah, okay. that's how like, I. Well, a, your so like a server wide pip all... is in a sense that everybody on the server at the time gets a pip. Yeah, for yes. it. Yeah, it yeah. Does, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone needs to be rewarded so that everyone is working together. You need that overarching goal. Yeah. Yeah. No, I for agree. Some for something like the better you do, the, the better you do, the more rewards you get, right? Yeah. Currently, but, all the all the different pips that we have or have access to in some way uh, are just static buffs. It's your war score, it's world versus world rank, commander buff, loyalty, outnumber, stationary. Everything is based on just being there, being there at the right place with the right rank or what, whatever, right? There's no. Oh, I mean, okay. The the commander buff can be argued that. That can be seen as a as a more active one because you're actually actively doing. You but do some effort, don't you? you even put, even put that you can, you can you can abuse that by just uh, and that's yeah, a yeah. single dude getting it. So I mean, yeah, you got to rotate around, man. Everyone gets a tick each, and you rotate the right tag around the five man group. <laughs> yeah. That's not this. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's, that's another way. Yeah, of doing it, yeah. <laughs> I think the issue with the idea there, Droid, there is that. It, it, what if one server is just completely like ruffle stomping the other one and then people just start bandwagoning because they want to be on the server that gets all those fat pips if you go on some big ass server you're going to be training but you got, you're taking out i mean i've been on an na i've been on na borderlands guys i've i've, I've been on for this fucking maguma shit dude there's people capping each other's keeps not grading it to tier three and eb that's just not natural guys okay that's just not nice I mean, there are some servers that are just rigged 
that there's just... always going to be the ruffle stomping situation, but that's where the outnumber buff can actually flourish. Okay. Right. So what is the because... outnumber buff? But what if the one server is just a lot better than the other servers though? Like in terms, not in terms of population, just skill. Because if, 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 if you've got these like annoying ass guilds who are just going in twenty v twenty v forty, just stomping everyone because they've got like the elitist tryhards going crazy, uh, then what, what do you what do you do about that? I don't know. Get rewarded. I, mean, I, don't, for, I, mean, I don't have the answers for everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's kind of just a problem I wish that I did. good players get rewarded, and I'm kind of fine with that. But I I think it might get a little bit tiresome if you're on a server and you can't sufficiently affect the result of. Uh, of what's going on because you're only one guy or maybe you're 10 people or whatever uh, if, if you're just getting flattened but, then what, what's the motivation for staying on the server i mean other than wanting to make your server great again just like just like underworld okay guys just like underworld. well but that's that's the thing you can never like someone in, in the comments said and as we've discussed earlier like this scenario would would require perfect balance and that's unachievable without the the assistance of uh, arena the full assistance of arena this is this system can never exist properly uh without somebody getting screwed over without a perfect moderator right yeah. they, but, they, that, they, but, that, but that's the general crux of world versus world just just get player in players as mods yeah, yeah. No. Well, well, the, well, here's the thing. Here, here, All the no, PVers. No, 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 here, here's the thing, though, right? Here's the thing. Like, the best people to ask about this stuff is the community. That's not. That, that's right. not even a joke. Like, by has, far, yeah. by far, the most, the, the players who know the most about the game are the, the. They know more than the goddamn devs at this point. I mean, I don't want to meme a, on a net too hard, that's... but if if the players didn't know more about the game than the devs, there wouldn't be. Uh, a, a buff to Mesmer Sword 5 that puts five stacks of might on your phantasms. That wouldn't have happened, you know? Like, all the weird b balance changes in PvE, they wouldn't have happened, right? Like, uh, the various elitists could have warned, warned, <laughs> warned ArenaNet about this stuff, right? Oh, Jebro, thanks for the host. Good tournament. Uh, GG, rank 55, easy win. Oh, dude. cheers, Jebro. Um, oh, but, you know, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, the, the players know everything, dude. They know everything about this stuff. So I, I mean, it's I think a possibility. The, the yeah, problem sure. with that is, though, you have to you have to filter between the players who are who actually do know what they're talking about and the players who don't. And then, well, like you said, if you don't have an active moderator anyway, you're not going to get that sort of filter for people. So you're going to end up a situation with what happened with the polls, where regardless of whoever votes for whatever, people are going to be pissed, and it's always going to be people screaming about, like to this day, people still scream about the polls were a disaster. The I mean, the world of polls. Were, Right, there's always well, going mean, to be a losing side. I mean, yeah, but how how do you the, the the key is like how do you motivate the to dig out of that losing situation? You have to also add something for that, right? Yeah, right. right? I mean, because it, I mean, no, I think you should be rewarded for winning. Well, no, he's not be, saying. I, you, no, no, no. Like, you should be rewarded for winning, like, but like, there should be a, there should be some kind of motivation to to make your server capable of winning. Right. Yeah. No. So what? what yeah. I mean, yeah. I think the the servers. I mean. I mean, is, isn't is that now... the outnumbered buff though? Sorry, Rory. No, it's okay. I mean, yeah, but the outnumbered buff doesn't really. I don't think it's that effective. I mean, mm -hmm. it's effective at giving you more pips, but I don't think it's effective at actually giving you any chance of coming back. That's. I don't know. Outnumbered is kind of like a yeah. slap in the face. Yeah. It was the intent though. Like the thing, that's the... the thing is. Before before server links, it used to be basically you'd have players who wanted to, you know, sort of fight other huge servers in you know the higher tiers, and you had players who kind of wanted to roam more and and really not be in these huge blob fights, and those were on the lower servers. And now you can't really have that split because obviously there aren't really any low tier servers, even though there are some less populated servers than others uh, because of the links. Um, so I mean, you kind of have to. I guess decide if you want to make everything more even or if you want to try to go back to that system where the servers that are just going to always be lower because I mean for a while there were pretty much the servers that were always lower uh, keep that and uh, or or like I said uh, try to make everything more equal um, and I think to be honest I think it makes more sense to have a sort of system where there are just going to be some servers that have less population than others. The problem with that is the matchup system would have to be looked at because you can't then have 
ruins of Sormia, which has, you know, like 100 people, then get matched up against FSP, which has, well, you know, 3,000 people or something. But I don't know if you read it, right? But they are changing the matchup system to a one up, one down. Uh, right. But again, I mean, that's fine. But whatever again, effect it has, yeah. Right. I mean, the thing is, like, I mean, maybe if they, you know, if they do that and then with the matchup system, then they, they change it. Uh, or they, they have that for like two months or something and everything basically evens out, which I think it would eventually. Um, and then you have all the people who want to go to lower servers transfer down to lower servers. No other people want to go up to the upper servers transfer up there. That's fine. But I mean, you know, I, I think that their goal with the server links wasn't to encourage that system because they were trying to get more population on the lower tier servers, um, which again, like I said, there were people that just didn't want to be on the higher tier servers. So there are some people that don't care about winning the matchup, and they never did, and they, they don't care about being on the winning server. They don't care about being higher up. And if you keep those players in the game, then you have to also keep servers that uh, will allow them to do that and play that way. And wow, we have 650 viewers, Teapot. Feels good. Hey, it's all you, half boy. of them are raging at me, don't worry. Not all. <laughs> no, I, it's oh, Roy, dude. pretty boy Roy. Hey, dude, they're they're raging. They're bad. raging at Gregor and Mori too. It's everyone's getting chipped today. <laughs> Twitch chat's roasting everyone left and right, dude. Oh, I'm one oh, of those elitist GVGers. I need to go through all the comments afterwards yeah. in the in the video. This is gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be spicy, dude. It's I'm looking forward rich. to it. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot spicy. of good comments that I see, or and half yeah. wit comments as well that are actually just funny. But there's a lot of good comments that I just I mean, kind of scroll trying, by. I, I try not to read the Twitch chat too much. I mean, who cares about Twitch chat? Um, wow. But wow, I like Twitch chat. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not a streamer, so. <laughs> You know, you would get a lot of viewers if you stream, Roy. People would be down for that shit. Uh, I don't think. You don't think so? His oh, selfie game is on point, so... Yeah. Yeah, like, you've upset them now, Roy. Check this shit out. Oh, that sucks <laughs> for them. Yeah. Oh, darn. He's not reading it, though. That's what he said. That's what he just said. <laughs> oh, I guess. TVG me. G oh! <laughs> <laughs> but wait, how no. are they allowed to bring, like, the entire Twitch chat versus your 15? And one push. Woo! Woo! He's running meta beta builds, boys. Ooh! Check. Meta battle. Uh, our hidden yeah, meta battle. Yeah. Did you yeah, guys? Can I, can I just say <laughs> Did you guys see the new thief staff build in meta battle that just got added recently? I saw Cinderin's vi Some videos. Sick though. shit, dude. I, I haven't seen the. Actually, K bolts, boys. Here's a here's a fun story. Um, speaking of uh, very slacking uh, world versus world experience, but uh, for the last week in team chat, like the 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 links to proper builds and stuff has been just spammed all the time like oh you're new to pve yeah uh, get the right stuff blah 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 uh, super cool right but then i was on uh, i was i was i was playing on my on my laptop which is just an air mac uh with no mouse and there's literally 10 fps right and like i can barely move my character uh but i was i was playing world versus world and i come across this uh this guardian at one point, who just, I, like, he's roaming. Obviously, he's roaming, because why else would I meet him alone, all in the middle of, of nowhere? And we, we start fighting. I'm, I'm there on uh, on mouse pad, blah, blah, blah. And he's he's just, he's base guardian. He's uh, probably that meta battle build that everyone, the frontline guardian. And I'm like, why are you roaming in this? And I, I whispered in afterwards because I got him in downstate before the, a cert came and stumbled over me. And I whispered to him, I was like, dude, what are you, like, for real, what are you playing? I, I have literally the worst uh, uh, setup right now for me, and I still beat you. And he was like, yeah, this is, I'm just waiting in queue. Ha 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 ha. So you're just toxic world versus world. You're, you're bullying people. No, no, no. You're bullying, dude. I, I Bully, genuinely asked him, like, what is, what is Let him is win. Let him fun. win, Bible Thumb. He's new. Oh, right <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. But no, no, yeah, I, I, down your I, I, I was having if, a bit of a giggle there. If we can go back to the, you know, the kind of the tutorial topic, I think that the best tutorial is actually the community, right? Because you, I mean, you go on with us, well, they're, they're going to be spamming that team speak hard. They're, they're uh, spamming tinyurl.com slash easy builds. Get your builds. You know, it's it's there. It's like, if if you don't um, see that spam getting spammed in map chat, are you, are you blind? Are you that guy who made that video saying that the, <clears throat> the Guild Wars 2 is uh, too complicated or something? I, I don't know. Is, is it? 
I, I think having the community as the as kind of the tutorial is kind of a good thing, actually. So, um, in regards to that, uh, I would say if there are any new players watching right now and you have any questions, feel free to um, ask in Twitch chat, and maybe I'll stop ignoring it, and hopefully one of these guys who's reading it will look at it. Uh, or you can PM me in-game or something. Um, but in regards to the, uh, the sort of guides, pretty much every single server um, that's organized still is going to have some sort of... They're going to have builds on, on forums or on a TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever. Pretty much every single one. Um, they're going to have commanders who are experienced, which means if you follow them, you're going to learn World of this World. They're going to have people who are happy to discuss you know answer questions for you and stuff um i mean the, you know the, the the day of the patch i was in i was in world versus world um and i was saying in team chat you know every half hour basically just like uh if anyone has any questions feel free to whisper me and i got a couple whispers and i was hopefully i will help a couple people out but the point is that there are people on ser every single server i think like that who are happy to help these new players out because again like i said at the beginning of the stream we are happy that we have these new players in the in the game mode um and it's going to be better for us as well the faster that these new players start learning and start improving uh so i would say if you are a new player just make sure you ask for the servers forms if they have them ask for the servers team speaker discord and then also ask for help when you need it um and then all these troll questions in twitch chat now of course i have to look through that, but... but no that literally <laughs> is the best thing right like go, taking that extra step as a plug player and that kind of help builds towards that internalized incentive because you kind of get, maybe you don't get attached to the server, but you kind of get attached to the people you play with or you, you build like a, a rapport with them. So getting in that team speaker discord or even joining the servers is actually super helpful, not only for yourself because you get better, but it's helpful for the community as a whole. So, yeah, I completely agree. Like the biggest reward is, is playing Friendship. with the team. And no, seriously though. And you say that as, oh, ha ha. Ooh. But I no, it's true. You can't, you, you it's can't true. put a sentence like that it's up serious. and not it, expect it to get a meme. It, it, but you, you say it, you counter meme, but it is actually true, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best part true. of World vs. World is, you know, having that community. I think... Well, in my opinion, yeah, this is this is just an opinion, right? It, it's well, having that kind of having that banter with the other <laughs> servers, you know? Yeah, like oh yeah, you're getting one push newbie, you know that sort of stuff. You know that's that's just that's just the best part of it. Uh, this the server prize. Like, yeah, you know we're we're taking a garrison, dude. No, yeah, nice garrison, nice arrow cast, just flaming the other team. Uh, and just having fun with, uh, you know, a large amount of players yeah, well, is, that's, is the that's best That's called fun. competition, which this game is lacking a lot of, and it needs Healthy to not Healthy competition. Yeah. It's positive that's, competition. That's what well, I mean. No, I think a little some toxic people, Some people get real too. toxic, yeah. real toasty. Uh, yeah, well, like... that goes hand in hand with competition, right, the, at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's but okay. that's... I mean, you know what? If I go into World of the World and I run over, keep, you know, salt, and I whisper teapot, Ooh. and I say, hey, get good noob, which happens a lot, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's fine. That's okay. You know, yeah, throwing, so, the siege, throwing the siege, wide. throwing the siege on bodies, yeah. exactly, dude. I I enjoy doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You know, and I mean that sort of starts tying into more GPG, but mm. you know, we'll have to. Yeah. Well, again, have to, you know, we'll have to avoid to, that topic. To, to kind of to, no, I mean no, I mean to, to kind of bring that in though. I mean GPG is ba more or less a completely player constructed concept, or maybe totally even. Like maybe the guild hall was there to facilitate it, right? Uh, but it. That's that's what the community does. Like the, the World vs. Warriors community has basically made the entire game mode. It's constructed World vs. World. Like World vs. was a blank canvas, and then the World vs. World community made it, made it so. And that's why you have stuff like GVG. You know, they they came up with that. You know, they came up with that. They created these structures uh, around it. And then, you know, that's the best part of World vs. World. So GVG and Guild Wars One, mm, it's not. Not even close to the same, though, is it? Let's be real. Oh, I, mean, I, I no, never did. No, GVG and Guild Wars One and Guild Wars Two is completely different. They're not. Yeah. They're not at all the same. Exactly. Um, I'm not it, saying. I'm not um, saying one's better than the other. I'm just saying they're they're completely different. Yeah. I. I mean, it's it's not, not, not even close. Yeah. I mean, you can't compare the two games, anyways. I I I think it's really ironic when people compare Guild Wars One to Guild Wars Two. It's they're just completely different yeah. games. Yep. Yeah, I completely agree. It's very in terms of gameplay. There's not a lot of. Uh, the community invented constructed fifteen versus fifteen arena. Wow, amazing! Well, oh, no, right. no, no. We didn't. No. We didn't invent the arena. We invented the game mode. Arena that gave us the arena and it's yeah. shit. Ha! Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, you have the guild hall. You have the guild hall. Yeah, the guild hall. Oh boy! All right. Well, a PvP instance with PVE yeah. balancing hey. that makes. Uh, well, oh, I, mm. don't know. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Maybe, maybe you did. Maybe this got to you somewhere uh, down the grapevine, but. When we were GVGing versus um versus Bull and PRG, 
uh, Paul was there and he's saying, hey, why aren't you guys doing this in the guild hall? Um, and then he, he seemed to not uh, know about the, the issues surrounding it, right? I mean, obviously he's on the raid team, so why would he, right? Like it's nothing to do with his area. But, you know, maybe that indicates that, you know, they're actually looking well, I, to maybe I, kind I of facilitate a, this sort of thing. I did an at Paul in your Discord and you never answered me. It feels bad. Well, <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he reads it because... Did you if send I, him a selfie, dude? If, I, if, I, if I'm honest, no, it's, uh, it's a little bit of, you know, some of our yes. Discord stuff's a little bit, well, little, little bit hey, questionable. Man, if if uh, any <laughs> internet devs want to hook up, dude, I'm more than happy to talk to you for hours about how you can fix yeah. World vs. World. Well, I mean, and I, specifically GVG, but... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you got the downstate master as well, don't you? You got that stupid life thing <laughs> as well. Well, uh, basically, the right? problem with the, the biggest issue with the guild hall is that it's a PvE. Yeah, instance. it's it's not well versus well balanced. That's that's right. Off. I mean, that, if you if you change it from a PvE instance to a PvP or whatever instance, then it's you fix a ton of issues. And then really, the only issue you'd have to fix is the, the FPS and, but, and yeah. the well, yes, the instancing level, well, whatever. Yeah, the instancing, the FPS issues, and and the size of it. But I don't want to dwell too much on on the GVG <laughs> just because I know it's going to bother people and. Uh, I mean, I think we're mostly here to talk about the update, which doesn't sure. really have anything to do with sure. GVG. So. Um, so, okay, other than the the, the, the equality and the, the PIP systems and whatnot, I mean, what's I guess what would you guys think is the best part about the update, besides bringing back the population? The legendary backpiece. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually last, don't care for I mean, I've, I've been long wanting a third legendary uh, backpiece yeah. for ages. And like it's impossible to craft uh, two of the uh, the other ones in any way, shape, or form. So I've just been waiting for World as well to get this. I mean, yeah, I think it's awesome Great. that they they gave it to us. Um, I mean, people have been asking for it for a really long time, so it's it's definitely a nice thing to have. Um, and I think it looks good. I mean, it's really yeah. ridiculously large, but yeah, I think it's it really looks, funny. It, still it, it keeps with the theme the of uh, World vs. Cool. World. I, I think it's going to be the new Commander meta, right? You, it's time to throw out those Zephyrite backpacks. No, you can never get rid of the Rucksack. Uh, nah. That's nah, never going to end. you got to but, but throw that good. away, and you got to get that... What, what's it called? Like Warbringer or something? Warbringer? you got to get that on there. Legendary Warbringer. Legendary Warbringer. Oh, hell yeah, dude. And it's got capes on it. They put capes in the game in World vs. World. It's got two side capes, basically. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, the capes are actually really interesting. The The mechanics on them look really Fluid. flappy. Looks, yeah, really cool, good. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good. On, on the on the back piece or the armor in general, the, the tier three armor. Oh no, no, not, uh, the, not the hentai tentacles. The on the the back. I piece love that. Good. I'm getting that, dude. Yeah. Sign me up for that. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm all about that tentacle stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Or world vs. world no names talking about world vs. world feels bad. Yo, here, wow, who are you, dude? dude. Oh, who okay. are the world vs. world Holy namers? Shit, dude. This got deleted by this guy. Who's, any, who's <laughs> anyone to talk about? World I mean, yo, here, to be honest, the only no names here are Teapot and Doror and Gregor. I'm not a no name, but I'll fuck you. <laughs> Oh, let's check your Twitter followers, bud. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, no no tweets. No namers. What? Mm. Oh, mm. my God. Okay, well, moving on. Oh, okay. uh, that's actually, yeah, just on the topic of that, that's actually one of the stupidest arguments. Who is anyone to talk about it? I mean, we're all in the same community. We all kind of want the same thing, I guess. I mean, I no, would I'm hope. Better than everyone, so it I'm a real. And, okay, yeah, <laughs> apart from Roy, he wants uh, he wants uh, privilege for his veteran just, uh, players. No, just for me. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Get Zog in here. Oh, yeah, man. get a uh, get I, fast I, car I, in here. He's a world there. Fast car, dude. That'd be pretty sick. Uh, can I smack talk a world was world real quick? Yeah, just do it. Yeah, yeah I, I, that's, that's what the game somebody, is about. I'm, I'm this, not, is I'm not gonna, this is what we're here for, dude. You should I'm not gonna, no, I'm call him out. Anything. Call him out. I was <laughs> call. Uh, I was uh, call him out. I was shared uh, a video, uh, actually a YouTube channel of a world versus worlder who some of you might venom. Who, uh, I forgot his name, so that is actually the reason why I'm not saying it, because I'm going to have to look this up real quick. Uh, but uh, he apparently uh, set out for himself uh, a mission that he could defeat any uh, PvE encounter with his World vs. World, world uh, build. And it is the most cringy two-hour thing I've ever seen. He's literally getting hit by everything. But he's tanking it with his World vs. World shit. This is the best thing. I uh, some of you in chat might recognize him. I'm not going to share this link, but I had a really good giggle. Um, he's he has a video fractal 100 uh, nightmare normal mode Enceladus 
and he's literally I think you should link it. It's on YouTube. He's it's literally getting know. hit by every single mechanic. He's not even learning from from. You'll be uh, giving Blatt. him more views. Um. So well, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. There are there are assholes in every game mode. I mean, I've raided. I I I did a raid a, a while ago with a bunch of PVPers, and they said, "Oh yeah, like it's just PVP, dude. Just run whatever." We spent a few hours wiping the Veil Guardian. I was kind of pretty smug after that. I was kind of laughing at them. Uh, hope, you're not, hope you're not talking about uh, no, 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 about me. no, no, okay. no, no, no. We, you actually do really well, actually, uh, except for that one uh, guy who runs literally the world versus world guardian. Uh, <laughs> that ain't so good. But actually, no, I, no, right, you guys, you no updraft Gorsable, dude. It was easy mode. Uh, but no, this was PvP. It's not world. This was ages ago as well. This mm. was this was quite a while ago. Some guy from I think he was from ESL or something, and he was like fucking like one of bad. Okay, just put it like that. I mean, obviously good in PvP, but yeah, uh, kind of worrying. And exactly, right, here we have with Atos PL, like, you know, people going to World vs. World in PvP, from PvE, of course they're gonna get fucking shat on, dude, that's how it works. But the thing is, I mean, this is like a big sidetrack, like, people don't respect each other's game modes in this game at all, like, uh, people just kind of shit on each other, it's not good, you know, we're all in this together. We're all in this together, guys, we should all be friends with each other. We should all be friends. Um, you, you know, I don't know, that's kind of a little sidetrack, that's kind of silly stuff, but mm, whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, do we actually have anything else to talk about regarding the patch or no? Are we just going off on... I mean, it was it's, just features, it's, it's so just it, it was just time, a boost system. Yeah. yeah. It's tangent time. I guess, do you guys want to ask us anything? Uh, we've got some very wise world versus world players. You can drop a few questions on us, but I think we basically uh, kind of covered everything. Yeah. I think. Yeah. We, uh, we want communism. Yeah, communism. According, yeah, according to that, that big, get that in. Yeah, get I that. Think, get this. I get think <laughs> we'd have a democracy would have a bit of an issue with that. But it's not. It's not. It's not even. It's not. It's not, it's not socialism versus capitalism. It's more like socialism. Like ah, oh, it's more like egalitarianism versus oligarchy, right? I, I don't know. That makes sense. <laughs> rather, rather. Okay, well, maybe, okay. Let's not even go there. Let's not even <laughs> fucking go there, dude. Uh, <laughs> but okay, what, what, what you guys got for us? Go on. What, what's going on here? Roy, would you destroy this Deroy guy 1v1? Yes. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Which oh, boy. Which, uh, uh, which arena are we fight, fighting in? Woo! Okay. You can oh, pick shit. EU or NA. Doesn't matter. Why do French people suck at World vs. World? Oh, I'm asking. Uh, I have a guild hall. Why do French uh, people suck at World vs. World? I don't uh, know, I, but I can a open lot a, of... a PvP instance if you guild want. Hall? I mean, I mean if, that's the, if that's the thing uh, you want. That's not, yeah. If this is, actually, I mean, oh, if, someone did want me to ask Teapot, when are we GVGing? Ash versus Salt. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll sort something out. I mean, we can kind of go whenever, right? We can just go in the guild hall because we're not matched up right now. I mean, we probably get matched not, up again, right? Your server's going ham, just like stomping fools. So. I hope, hope we get out of this shit matchup. So, yeah. yeah, um, we're not raiding this week because uh, of the yeah. patch. Yeah, but, that's uh, fair. Yeah, because yeah, anytime, anytime you got 15 people, you can. Yeah, well. Just, I mean, again, there's like a bit of a side trip. We got a lot of people doing exams right now, so we're kind of struggling to to get the numbers. Who so actually were willing to try, kind of try harder GVG? But yeah, we'll sort something out. Okay, never mind all that though. Um, yeah. Wait, uh, wait, how wait, about where was I fucking, where was I fucking how do you how do you guys feel about the price of some world v world desired stat sets like trailblazers or commanders or celestial gear? Uh, so I, think time ga I think time gating oh, stuff is stupid and it's a because but... I, I I'm very impatient. Oh, I mean, so wait, wait, time gating what? Charge quartz crystals. Well. Charge quartz crystals. Oh, those. It takes, 30, yeah. it takes basically it takes a month. Well, more than a month to get a full set of celestial gear. Well, you, well, you, I mean, you can unless, you can unless, throw unless gold on it. From the very, I mean, you out. Yeah, well, you can get five from the story from the achievement, right? Um, and yeah, you can buy Winner's Day gifts, but that's yeah. an incredible amount of money. Um, it's actually not that bad. It's not horrible. It's it, one it's, per stack. I think yeah, it's about, what one, it comes it's out about one per stack. It's not horrible, but it is pretty fucking rough. And yeah, the the, P, the the drop rates for the Trailblazer and um uh, drop rates, you know, yeah. like, Min Minstrel and Trailblazer. Oh, but God. I mean, yeah. that's not that's not World vs. World exclusive. I mean, that affects mm -hmm. anyone who wants sets. But yeah, I mean, those sets obviously need to be looked at. It's, yeah. it's a ridiculous amount of money. This um, might be a very uh, controversial opinion, but I don't believe that there should be any disparity between uh, the crafting of different sets just because one is more meta than the other. There shouldn't necessarily be a, an exclusive way to get this yeah. or this or this like yeah. just because like implemented there already is a way go around and do that i mean just because it's meta doesn't change the scenario i don't know but, well but, but, but i mean some sets are really annoying I, like 
Celestial you mean like the, the, the charge things? Yeah, I've been, yeah. I've really been uh, constantly uh, panicked about charge quartz crystals ever since they uh, came in. I have not missed a single uh, a single day of uh, making one. I mean, so you just have because like fifteen hundred now. <laughs> no, I've used them, so I have a what, stack. What or two. you made like so, so many Celestial sets? <laughs> All the time. No, uh, the best set, so. <laughs> oh, I don't and you wouldn't you. have to use transmutation charges. You I do guess. know that they're used for food as well and other stuff, right? Uh, who uses mm. food? Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, uh, cool. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about? Okay. Okay. Here's a question. Okay. 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 It, 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 you try. You're gonna get debated here, Deroya. How All can right. you get world versus world rank and th and thus more pips at any decent rate while being inactive? I mean that wasn't your point, but uh, yeah, yeah. Like, but never mind. That is a that is a dumb question because uh, you don't need the ranks to get pips. Duh. Oh, you don't need the ranks to get pips. Assuming, so okay, here, here's the thing. Pips, Assuming you already have the ranks, you just need the pips. If you if you don't need the uh, or if you actually need the ranks. Go and play. I mean, obviously, but you don't really need that many. You need what is it, three hundred, to get the legendary backpiece? Well, uh, and the armors. What are those? Six hundred, something like that. You're talking about ranks or, or tickets? Need... Ranks. Ranks. I think you need three fifty to to get the backpiece. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really need that much. No, no, no it's not it's a lot. For the, for the tier for three armor, armor it's, you need a it's bunch. 2K, like one point yeah, five or two. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it really is. The back piece is not really uh, locked behind a rank level, just the tickets. It's more time getting. Um, armor is 2K. No, the, the sublime armor's, armor is 2K. He's a, uh, sublime armor is 2K, and the yeah. regular armor is 1.5. Well, the tier 3 armor is 1.5, but I mean, 1.5K yeah, ranks is something. Tier three, but you can still get the ascended tier 2. You don't right. need the skin. Well, but what, what's the point ascended. of playing this game if not for skins? I mean, it's Fashion Wars, are we? What Fair enough, doing? but that wasn't the argument. Uh, also, to yeah. answer Naru, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I haven't followed well, enough people in NA to, to answer <laughs> your question, dude. Sorry. Here's the best thing. Disco Jason's trying to retaliate uh, to uh, to the... Uh, no, nah, don't get debated, dude. Like uh, this, is, this is great because uh, <laughs> he's like, well, it's unfair that we don't have as many charge stuff as Dorora, despite not doing it every day like him. It, that doesn't mean that we didn't have the same chance all the time, right? I mean... We've all been had access to it. We've all been able to craft these. You haven't years. had access to World of World for just because you years? haven't done it. I mean, chill. If we're, out. if we're going back to this, you haven't had access. Oh, no one else has access for World of World. No, no, no. For because there's years. a way around. There's a genuine way around. You can. Well, there's a genuine the way around. Buy the other shit. Too. No, not there's not. World. <laughs> can you buy ranks? I, no. Can you? Can Yummy you sauce the, will sell them the to you, stuff dude. Stuff that comes out of the charge <laughs> stuff? Yeah. All right, you know what? I just want to trade my World vs. World Ranks for Charge Quartz Crystals. And yeah. yeah. Well, 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 yeah. Well, 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 just straight now, up selling gear. Now let's, go, so let's get to the friendly teapot solution where we just you can <laughs> trade those ranks in. You, you, yeah. you keep gaining ranks, but you can you get a currency instead of a little thing. Because, I mean, so, you know, Mr. 10K. Another currency. I, well, oh. I, it has to be another currency. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Edges of know. Honor. I, well, perfect heroics. Whatever, dude. Uh, just because Nara is a little bitch isn't going to shut up. Viridian's the best. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, if know, all four of us fought right yeah. now, who would emerge victorious? Probably Gregor. Is it IRL? Uh, is Probably it, yeah. Gregor. I, wasn't I think Gregor has question. the advantage. You would kill all of us IRL, basically. Well, yeah. You might. He's probably yeah. armed, so he's just gonna just kill us. So. Well, yeah, we're American. I was, I was yeah, I mean, I, I, here right. in Europe, we're just screwed. I mean, we're just gonna kind of slap you, and then you just shoot us in the head. So I don't know. Yeah. It's just. Uh, so yeah, these world versus world questions are excellent. Yeah, keep them yeah. coming. Yeah, oh, it's, it's great, guys. You know, great. I deleted. I deleted all my characters besides a ranger. Now I want to world view world. What do? Um, just go in anyway, and then hey, have ranger. anybody who tells you otherwise that you can't tell them how to play, and it's your game mode too. So. And then just sit at the end of a zerg and just press one on people. Okay, okay. so someone asked, uh, with the focus on larger groups like zergs benefiting more from the rewards patch, what does this mean for roamers and small group play? Well, you get a an extra pip if you're a commander with with a, a squad of five or more people. So basically, what they were trying to do there was say if, if you're havocing or or roaming even, and you put a tag up and you have at least five people with you, then that person with the tag gets an extra five or an extra pip, um, and 
I mean, that's nice, but to be honest, I think most roamers aren't going to put a tag up. Um, they're only getting the only person who's getting that extra pip is is the commander. Um, I, I mean, I don't really think it's going to make a huge difference for the people who are roaming and like have been roaming. Um, I mean, they might stop for a couple of weeks just to farm the rewards. I think the the more I I don't think really roaming has been a a viable option for years. Like I think roaming has been dead for a really long time. I mean, I think that there's still some roaming some places, but it's pretty shit. Um, so is, is that more of a rewards thing or is that more yeah, of I, that's a, not, has nothing a balance to do with thing? I mean, I think, I think this patch hasn't done anything for roaming. It has, I don't mm-hmm. think it's hurt it except for this. Well, it has hurt it for the next couple of weeks because everyone's going to be farming rewards. So if you were roaming and trying to roam, you're really not going to have much to fight against, I think. Um, but I don't really, it certainly hasn't done anything for it. Um, have I ever answered a relevant question? No. I got spam for banning. Here's a good ban- one from uh, Mr. Potatoes. Yeah. He asks, yeah. This uh, is a good one. This is a good one. Yeah, a question for the experienced World vs. Welders. Is it a bad thing when World vs. Welders are asked to leave their game type? Should they be able to never ever leave? Question. So we shouldn't be allowed to leave World vs. World? No. Is it bad when a new person takes your spot over a... Over a- Older no, 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 no. The question is: I think it's a kind should of a you question, should you be but... able to get the same rewards like armor, weapons, food, whatnot, as you can in in uh, PVE or That's other game modes or PVP or other right? game modes? Yeah. Should there be? Should you have the access to to every reward in the game through World vs. World, or is there a balance? Is the question here? Mm, there is a balance, but uh, that's well. Considering legendaries and how legendaries work now, uh, from before we had to get map com- completion, but someone uh, asked why are world versus world queues a thing? <laughs> um, well, because I think if it's you had five hundred people in one map, it would crash the server That's even more than it already does. Yeah, the rewards are just I mean, too good. That's why it's queuing up the, the map. The servers already lag an insane amount with uh, three servers capped on the map, and I mean, you know, if if each one of those servers is capped at eighty. And there were no queues, and you had 300 people from each server on a map. I mean, the game would crash. No one would play. So it'd be it would be literally unplayable, kind of how it is now, but even more so. Yeah. Um. Someone... And that's something yeah. that's never going to go away. Yeah. By the way, I, I you know, Kid is right here. You know, you should be able to get ascended gear in World vs. World. You should be able to get all the you know very uh, some kind of gold income in World vs. World as with all other game modes as well, right? And you kind of have that in PvP and now almost in World vs. World. But yeah, you, you shouldn't. There should be like a core set of things that you can get in every game mode, and then other game modes have various different things in them. Uh, so, for example, there are various exclusive skins in raids. There are various exclusive skins in PvP, and now there are various exclusive skins in World as well. There were, there were some kind of some more before that with the triumphant stuff, but now they've added some more. We got the ascendant stuff, we got the tentacles. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that actually, in terms of the actual reward structure, I think we're in, on the right track. I would say to being successful, right? All right. Here's a question for everybody: What should Ana do next to promote World v World even further, or do they even need to promote it further? I guess is the the tag along yeah. to that. That's what we've been discussing this entire oh, time. We've got to bring those seasons back. We've got to get that season hype, right? That will be the next step. We've you, got the skirmish rewards. Let's get yeah. the seasons rolling again. To, to a certain degree, uh, I, I would agree. Uh, not necessarily with the... I mean, yeah. The, the seasons are, are great in that they create an overarching goal, but in general, I believe Shit. that there should just be a general overarching goal of winning. That, I mean... Um... The incentives should just be varied. Hey, Bob, I'm, getting, I'm getting bullied in your chat now. What are they doing? What are they doing? That's dude? I'll get them. Answering. I'm going to ban him, dude. It's I'm going to take him no, out. It's okay. That's <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm going to smite him. Oh, they're they leaking that shit computer. video. Uh, I'm, I wish, Didn't seasons so. kill the retention? And they said they wouldn't do it? it I don't it know if they out. killed retention. It, it burned out a lot of people. Because for whatever weeks it was the season, a lot of people just played those weeks. And then they just they got super tired, super burnt out. So I can see that side of the argument. They uh, just, obviously, they that's, change how it's operated, but wasn't that just because people wanted to win, so they didn't sleep, kind of thing? Well, seasons burn people out, yeah, but at the same time, there was an insane amount of motivation during the seasons to play, and I think that was awesome. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, they got burned out for a week, maybe, but who cares? There was like eight weeks of a ton of really enjoyable playing um, and pushing and trying to win. So I think the seasons weren't a bad thing. I think that 
the rewards for the seasons were terrible, and I think the amount of work you had to get to do to get those rewards were terrible, but the seasons themselves are not a bad idea at all, and I don't think they hurt World vs. World. I don't think the idea of seasons hurt World vs. World, and I don't think it would. Yeah. Should there be a God of World vs. World title just like PvP? No, well, because there's no way to distinguish it. <laughs> no, it's, I, think, uh, I think it's too would, difficult to what would, the, what would the parameters be? I mean, it'd Karma be like, farming the, the most, what, that like the most kills out of anyone. I don't know. It would just, it would be so difficult to quantify. I think it would mm. be pretty much impossible. I mean, if there's anything, the, the ultimate dominator title is kind of a cool thing. I just believe that that should keep going to a certain degree. I mean, not necessarily with uh, achievements or titles or stuff. It just, just, just keep counting. Just, just, just a little cool thing. I don't know. I don't think that it should be a, uh, Un unless there's a quantifiable way to uh, to distinguish between active players and just karma tra uh, karma training, which there can't they can't really exist, then then they shouldn't do it. Yeah. It would be determined how many light fields you blasted. <laughs> oh it's, a it. <laughs> it's a good way to do Dragon. it. That's a good way to do it. You need you need to, yeah you need to add in the uh, world of Control Discord, dude. Dear God, <laughs> what's up? What's going on? Oh, you just you just posted there, man. This video is being worked on. Oh, okay, here's uh, maybe maybe an, an interesting question we can go oh, on. Uh, what are the what are the like quantifiable balance issues in World versus World now? What do you guys say? Because they kind uh, of addressed epidemic to a certain extent, at least. You it can you can oh, still apply it. Oh yeah, you can. You, yeah, you, I I know. Okay, so should we, let's should we talk about Condi a little bit because I know Greg, you're not a big fan of the AIDS that uh, has invaded World versus World with. Uh, kind of revenant joining <laughs> joining the fray. No, I love that. I love that revenant <laughs> is now pretty much everything you need to play. You can do a whole squad of revenants on Sully gear, and then that's you got healing revenant, Kanye revenant, tank, and that's it. You don't need anything else. Okay, was Deathly Chill a mistake? Those three stacks of bleeds on every chill. Is that a is that, uh... is that a disease? What would be, someone asked what would be the reason for animosity or competition between players from different game modes. Um, I think the biggest reason would be because, like, if you're someone who's never played PvE and you just come from World vs. World, you go into, like, a raid or something and you have absolutely no idea how to play and you, I don't want to say ruin it for the other people who have, are experienced and know how to do it, but if you, you know, you go in and you, you kind of just expect that everything's going to be easy and this is obviously the same thing as a PvE player going into World vs. World, you expect... Everything is just going to be kind of laid out for you. You don't have to really put any work into it. You don't actually have to learn anything. Then obviously the people who have um, already been playing are going to be unhappy with that. Uh, that's that's what I would say is probably the reason for that. And sorry for changing topics. I'm, I'm a bit distracted. By the way, Greg, you don't have to delete that video, dude. I don't really care. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> well, I, I mean, there's, there's also a weird animosity between players in Guild Wars 2 because everyone seems to be under the impression that everyone's stealing each other's development time, basically. Yeah, that's, uh, and true. that's that's just not the case, guys. Just PSA. That's not how it works. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, that, that's not how it works, guys. All right. Uh, and even if it was, well, if it was, that would kind of be kind of fucked, actually. But you still shouldn't hate each other over it. I mean, it's just, yeah, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, it is also the kind of the the game is very casual, so yeah. players will wander aimlessly into other game modes and kind of go, ooh, let's have some fun here. And especially in World vs. World. In World vs. World, it is very easy to fuck over your team, okay? Very easy. Uh, especially in PvP as well, right? Like, it, it's less so in, in PvE. Because, well, actually, no, it's extremely easy to fuck over your team in PvE as well, actually, no. Cancel that. <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it's extremely easy to fuck your team over in this game, uh, as it turns <laughs> out. And the thing is, people have a tendency to wander into the other game mode and not really even try um, to, to really understand. I, I mean, I have, uh, you know, I run basically a free raid selling guild, so I, I have a lot of experience in that. Uh, and, and yeah, it ends up causing issues and it makes people dislike each other and, and kind of kind of look at the other game modes angrily, saying that they're all trash. Um, yeah. I think your char is very ugly. Wow, dude. Wow, come on. What do you think of, My char think of the is beautiful. Idea? Uh, the idea of ArenaNet doing another world v world initiative by sending out devs to guilds 
Hey, I saw I, 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 I saw a dev and I called target on him and all our necromancers <laughs> corrupted him and I got my immediately focused. It was great. Hide, we tags, yeah. so I'm very jealous. Yeah, I think I've got Conga the Creator, Dora. You Thanks. should uh, come play the World vs. World. I've, I have I actually. I, I've gotten really uh, yeah. super jealous of the fights that I'm seeing on uh, on on your stream compared yeah, to the lackluster performance that I'm seeing on my own server. It's similar to that. Transfer to Underworld. We're stomping fools all day. What server are you on, Dora? A gunner's hold. I mean, oh. we're winning, but it's very so my... disorganized. I'm on. I'm on gunners as well. Nice. Yeah. Just go with Ash, dude. Let's get in there. Well, I mean, we don't run. Actually, that's not true. We've been leading open rates oh, you're... a lot. Yeah. I've seen the. I've seen that tag. So yeah. I'm what? one of yeah, the Ash people that tags up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's uh, it, it just generally seems very yeah, disorganized. Yeah. No. Well, last like, week it... against against Riverside and uh, what was it? Abaddon's, I think the fights were everything was just a one push. Um, and then this week, obviously, BB doesn't really fight and JC doesn't fight too much. Although the times that they've tried to fight have been okay, but yeah, the fights the last two weeks have been absolutely well. To, to, yeah, to a certain extent, like, every single server is a complete clown fiesta right now because of how like the influx like of I new said, players. Gonna, it's, 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 I actually out. wouldn't agree with that. I think well, it's, I think it's pretty difficult to get a proper organized group together just because you, it's difficult to get all your entire time. your entire guild or your entire group onto the borderland, right? I mean, well, it'll take ages, for, but for, I guess you could do it eventually. Just, just, uh, uh, well, for guild groups, yeah, maybe. But from from an organized pug blob perspective, I've, on JQ at least, there's been a lot of organization and prepping, and people have been spamming those builds in team chat too. So maybe that's a server-to-server -server thing. But at least on JQ, people have been very receptive to getting on Discord and getting in comms and getting organized. So Yeah, that's good. I mean, I think it's probably I think it's been advertised a bit uh, heavier on NA, to be honest. Um, just from what I've seen, I don't know why. I just think it is. Um, so EU people advertise that shit. Get that out there. Get yeah. better. Get good. Well, yeah. Also, right. people try I and mean, spam there's, there's... TS. Uh, they try and spam the TS, spam the Discord, and we actually have managed to get a good chunk of people. And we nearly had, nearly had uh, like seventy five percent in actually. Be awesome. salty for a second, Gregor. There's no national servers on an A, and national servers suck. Oh, so, do they really? Yeah. You would think that it's national. All the Germans band together. You know. Germans are bad at this game, so. Oh, all, all the Spanish then? Woo. No, uh, actually, <laughs> half of Ash is German, so I can't really say that. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I mean, t just honestly, like, for some reason, notoriously, the, the national servers have been kind of like, they don't fight very much. They don't really play as much. Or not yeah. play as much. They, 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 they play they for don't. people. Well, it was quite peculiar, because yeah. we, we were... Um... We were playing against Jade C, and I, I've never seen it. Maybe this is more common. Maybe I'm just very inexperienced. But we would go up to a, a, a Jade C uh, Zerg, and they would literally use a portal. They'd have a portal already. Yeah. They just portal out. Yeah. And holy shit, I've well, never seen that before. It's crazy. Been, like, I mean, yeah. Over the time, like I've been leading open raids, and we'll be fighting against BB, and I'll run up to like with a with a, a sixty man group against their sixty man group. I'll run up towards them, and they'll all just waypoint out immediately. Um, and I mean, you know, that's just national servers play play like that for the most part riverside and kodash at times have been less like that like they the german servers do it less i'd say than the french servers and the spanish um just for whatever reason but now nah, i'm gonna be called racist so no, racist in american <laughs> racist american racist roy dude doesn't know what yeah. he's talking about what the fuck dude? Yeah. the r and roy is for racist uh, oh no! <laughs> oh god! Why did you I say mean, that? is there is there any solution to that though? Do you like? No, there's no. Oh well, yeah. Put all the national servers in their own matchup. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not kidding. Dude. Did like, you I, think that? I put BB against JC forever, and I will be happy. Never make me fight at one of those servers. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Actually, I was, it was good to play against. Uh, it was good to uh, play against Barak Bay, though, actually, because there was this one guild that we en have ended up GVGing, and they would literally just leap in uh, about 20 versus our th uh, like 40 or something. They'd just keep doing this. They were great. They were really fucking YOLO. They would instantly die, obviously, because they only had 15. <laughs> but they would just keep doing it. They just kept respawning and trying to kill us. It was great. I, I love those guys. They're fucking alpha, dude. It's Resistance. pretty intimidating. But yeah. If, we, yeah, if we can kind of steer back towards like the original question of the balance stuff. I guess it talks about resistance, oh, right? Do you guys think resistance is overpowered? Do you think it's too good? Or do you think it's necessary because of how much it's, Condi's about the place these days? It's overpowered, but it's completely necessary just with the amount of yeah. Condi's and the amount of damage that Condi's can do. So you're kind of in this 1-0 state, right? Where if you have resistance, you're great. You're, you're cruising. But if you don't have it, you're just going to get 100 to 0 instantly. So there needs to be a total rework of conditions, in my opinion. Damage they do or, or what, what have you, but... 
it's too insane right now. And I don't know if that's meta in PvE or not, but... Um, how about if, what what if because I, I don't necessarily agree that the conditions should uh, should be nerfed uh, universally so or not universally but in in the game mode uh, even but what if just a suggestion just a my uh, weird train of thought what if mm. uh, there was just a bigger uptime of uh, resistance but resistance didn't nullify uh, the effects of um, uh, conditions as much as it just took seventy five percent of the effectiveness. So basically, you're taking 75% less damage, but the problem, the problem yeah. with that is you're still stacking insane amounts of, of bleeds and now torment with with condition revenant, um, with frost aura the way it is. Like, even if it's 75%, it might work. Like on, on the numbers, it's splitting hairs, but I don't think uh, just with the way the conditions are spread right now and the way that you can have so many of them, putting like trying to nerf resistance at all will 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 kill any sort of uh, any balance that you have yeah but not necessarily nerf it in in the sense that you just make it more accessible but less impactful so that you can technically always have it up or like in in an ideal more, situation more accessible in 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 what way like the the current classes the longer that have it right now a longer uptime yeah and the problem with that is that you can also strip it too and coordinated groups i don't know if that's the difference between coordinated groups and pug blobs but the amount of strips that you can do especially with sigil of absorption uh groups that don't have stability you're going to be losing that resistance as well well that's kind of uh, cool though like that's the that's the push pull it has to be there or else it, it just becomes a bland no conditions no boons uh, allowed uh, situation right there has well, to be the well, i was just thinking there has more... to be a counterplay there like well, in that respect, we're kind of in a good spot then, because that's basically how it yeah. is, right? Like, as I as it seems to be, like you want to keep the boons on yourself and take your opponent's boons, and then you can kill them if you, if they've got boons there and they're going crazy. You can't really fucking do that, shit to them. That's uh, great if you can have an equal amount of clears as you do applications, and I don't think there is an equal amount of condition clears as you can have condition application. Yes, Kani can be applied too fast. I think it's, it can be reapplied too fast. That's the biggest issue. Yeah. So and, because, and, that it, and that it, you can get more than twenty five stacks on a player yeah. is just ridiculous. Would, would you would, would you tone would you tone down Connie's or would you increase? Um, well, I would uh, make cleanses. it so you can't you uh, can't apply Connie's as fast, and that you can't stack more than twenty five Connie's on a player. Yeah, I think that would be a good step. I mean, I don't I don't know why either of those things, and also the fact that they they buffed burning and mortars. I mean. <laughs> It's just, I think that's great. I love it. So, so you, uh, you, how, how many, no, how, but, how many burns are you allowed on a player? How many, how, how, how toasty can I get? I think it's, it's the same as an NPC, right? 99. Many as you want, but oh, no, no, no. I mean, how many would you want? How, sorry, how many would you want? Oh, well, I would, I, start, I would start, well, it used to be you could only get 25 of each condition. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. you can only get 25 burning, 25 bleeding. Now you can get as many as you want. Um, so I would go back to that and I would also, tone down how fast you can reapply conditions because i think that's the biggest issue i think and but but if you do that you, you're you're catering to the Serg environment and you're effectively castrating every roaming build every roaming uh condi build aren't you are you do you really stack no. that well, hard well, in roaming? Well, no, but like first if, of all first not, of all not necessarily you're the, not gonna the, have the 25 yeah. stack but the the amount the output that you're addressing right. here okay you, like the reason you, i you say that is because cut out skills right you, you're gonna have less of everything overall in a in a roaming scenario than you would in a zerg, so it's that doesn't really affect it. I don't think. I mean, if, you're gonna have you're gonna have space, less condi applications when you're roaming, it. but you're also gonna have less cleanses when you're roaming because it's a one v one or a three v three or whatever. So I don't I don't really think that's applicable. It, balance is universal. It's not going to just affect one thing. Oh, I know. I understand that, but okay, <laughs> you're saying you're saying that if if you Tone down how fast you can reapply condition. I mean, yeah, sure, it probably will affect roaming, but I don't think it's going to make Condi roaming builds unplayable. And no, but you're going to castrate them immensely. Take the the Ranger uh, Condi build for example. That's just about applying conditions all the time, constantly. If you can't do that, then <laughs> that's not viable. Oh, good. I mean, that builds annoying as shit. Yeah, that's the <laughs> point of it. Though. It should be. <laughs> Uh, but but it's you we don't, we don't want to, don't to bring want it in area where area. all we have is revenants and guardians in the same circ and just uh, cluttering the entire there were, server. There were plenty of of different builds for roaming way before con conditions got buffed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that if you go that route where you're trying to 
to tone down the the condies again, you are going to create a scenario where you just have the I think same. Most base. people would be okay with that. Well, well, Rangers and Drew, well, Rangers particularly never had a place in Zergin anyway, so yeah. their their limited condition application is is not really considered for Zergs. Uh, it would only be a roaming thing, and, and I don't know much about roaming to comment either one way or the other on it. But I think what a lot of people are trying to establish is at least parity between power builds and uh, condition builds right now. And, the and there, meta there, in, there really in isn't large, any parity whatsoever. Play for world versus world is too strong. And it's all about those cards, like, man. It's all about those cards. I mean, it's it's just yeah, it's too strong. You got to stack them up. <laughs> you got to stack them up, dude. Uh, I, I mean, love how people, other, other I than love that, how the yeah. comments are as, assuming that I'm I'm against uh, all of this and that I just want Condies to flourish I, and shit. Yeah, people are it's hating. Probably playing yeah. Yeah. What oh, I'm saying. It's, it's, really good. it's, it's good that Dror is making these points because we wouldn't be having any discussion if he wasn't here. Yeah. And on top of that, mm -hmm. it's good to get the pers other perspectives. Um, I, by the way, the, the changes that I mentioned, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't roam very much, certainly not anymore. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to have the, the same perspective, and I obviously, maybe I wouldn't know. So, yeah, there could be other changes. I just think co conditions need to be changed at least a bit. Certainly, I think you shouldn't have more than 25 stacks of a condition on players, maybe even not that much. But the other thing you have to remember is um, this was all, I mean, I'm talking about reapplication of con conditions now when all the conditions are pretty much buffed. If you brought them back to how they used to be, as far as how strong they were and how they stacked, then I wouldn't say they they shouldn't be as uh, reapplied as, uh, or they could be reapplied as fast because they wouldn't be as strong. Um, why do people stop roaming? I don't know. Um, because they have to go to bed. Cause... What do you mean? I don't know. What? <laughs> well, roaming has nothing to do with bed. Uh, the time of the day, <laughs> you can roam any time of the day. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, I think people probably stop roaming because, I mean, I don't know. It's not as enjoyable. I think there were a lot of builds that make roaming really hard if you're not playing that build. Like, there's just some builds that completely destroy other builds. There's this, there's specializations that completely destroy other specializations. Um, also, probably people just started zerging more now. Uh, I mean, I'm not completely sure. There's a lot of hate against duelers on 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 maps because people who aren't dueling feel that duelers are taking up spots oh, so i mean well, there's maybe some animosity towards that well maybe it's because it's how like how, how incredibly cancerous um the, right, maybe yeah. the roaming meta is right i i yeah. I, I i don't know i don't really roam but I, people always say like the builds that you play against are just complete aids right they're just cancer to play and also incredibly unfun to play against so like why would you do that if it's just if, if it's a if it's a struggle to find good fights that are actually fun and you're just playing against endless condi thieves that just like as soon as they start losing, they're already half halfway across the map, so you can't even win. Some people are saying and... it's, it's less about player skill, and I kind of agree with that. Like it, it used, I think it was, and this is kind of I think in the whole game too. Like it's a lot less about specific like your individual mechanics and your individual play than it is about like the build you're running. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. not really a good thing either. Yeah. I mean, that's the GVG meta used to be a lot more based on player skill, and it used to be a lot more split between players and and like the better players, the better mechanically skilled players generally win. Now it's a lot less based on that. So, I mean, that, that definitely has devolved now yeah. in, into how the state of the game. So, I mean, overall, but that's, that's an overall thing. That's just not, that's not just one specific place. Yeah. Uh, but are there any other um, kind of overarching or specific problems other than this kind of big Condi thing? Is that, is that like the only kind of balance issue, would you, would you guys say, in regards to World vs. World? Is there anything else specific? Other than the fact that Condi's a cancer? <laughs> um, no, nah, pretty much Condi's, dude. Pretty much Condi's? <laughs> I can't, I can't, uh, you can't really <laughs> find that stuff out until they move, like, the meta shifts, right? So. Yeah, I mean, stabil it's, stability's in a good a, spot, right? Like, WP's oh, yeah. stability. Yeah, it's I, pretty good I with think, the 0.7, is it 0.75? Yeah. One stack by mm -hmm. 0.75? I think that change is perfect for, for yeah. what it is And it's now, fine so. with corrupting, right? Like, corrupt, you, you think it's correct that all of it gets corrupted in one go? Yes, because that's what that's what corrupt boon is. Because okay. you have you have CC that would remove it. One. Do by you one have eight. a problem with the teapot? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I was okay. Just asking. I mean, that, just, that would be okay, that would be the obvious thing. That, 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 that would be the, the obvious. Little... That would be the obvious objection, right? To to the way stability works. Yeah. Talk about stability versus CC and strip. Uh, are you talking about world versus world wooden potatoes? I'm assuming. Um, we did discuss this a lot the last 
time I was on tea time. Um, I think stability itself is okay now, but the problem is, um, actually, I, no, I think, I think stability is pretty fine now. Um, I think right after the first, the initial stability change, when it was first put to stacks, it was pretty bad. Um, and then even the, the next change after that, no, I guess there's only, it's only been changed twice, right? Uh, now, now that basically you can't strip every stability stack within 0.1 seconds, like, you know, there's an internal cooldown on each, on how fast each stability stack can be stripped, obviously not including corrupts. Um, I think it's a lot better now. So I, I think stability is mostly fine mm-hmm. in, in and of itself in, in groups. Um, you know, yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's fine now. I think power creep is much more of an issue than, yeah. And CCs and stability. I don't have a problem with so, the way CCs work and with boon yeah. stuff. Like I mean, it seems fine. Basically, the thing is, like, it, right after stability was changed for about a year, um, pirate ship was the meta for pretty much everything, and that was a problem because pirate ship was awful. Um, and now, with the most recent stability change, as far as having the internal cooldown uh, on how long it can be or how fast it can be sta- uh, ripped, Strip. it it's pirate ship isn't as much of a thing. Um, and obviously, that that ha- obviously also had to do with Ellie's staff Ellie getting nerfed and or not being as viable anymore or whatever um but you know now now cc is fine stab is fine in my opinion certainly for world versus world uh the role role of warrior in zerg warfare does it have a role anymore absolutely i mean it's not it, it's 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 completely transitioned it used to be a support class now it's well not just pure support although mm. i mean that's mostly what it was but now it's pure damage it, full zerg pure boys damage. Yeah, full Zerk oh, Warrior. Sally Warrior. Um, Sally Warrior. Oh, no, don't, in, right, first of all, in that experimental don't section of Meta Battle, dude. Say, <laughs> anything Greg has to say about Warrior has no fucking idea what he's talking about. Uh, Warrior <laughs> is completely damaged. Uh, it's a complete damage in, I guess, CC. Uh, pure damage, not Condi. Pure damage in CC um, role. But it, it absolutely has a place in, in Zergs and GVGs and, and Warless World in general. They, they're not, it's not a bad class at all to run. Uh, Rev has not replaced Warrior. Warrior no. can out DPS Rev. Um, Rev currently brings, it's more of a hybrid class than uh, warrior. It, it brings some support. It brings some damage. It brings boon rips. It brings obviously resistance. Um, it brings uh, damage reduction, Connie reduction, all that kind of stuff. Um, warrior again, it's just pure damage and CC. I mean, that's, yeah, that's what warrior really is, but it's, there's, warrior there's one, pretty much, if you have, if you have an equally good warrior player and equally good, any other class player, warrior should be out DPSing, uh, those other players with that build right or the world versus world build right with the meta builds i'm talking yeah. meta builds yeah okay it does some yeah, serious okay. damage and the the cc is very strong as well with, um, especially any, with the sigil right guys the sigil yeah. are any of the nine classes underrepresented in zerg warfare and why Little oh, potatoes, yeah. man. really good questions liking it nice um thieves ranger dude 100 percent underrepresented thieves are essentially useless in world versus world uh zerging till um, the syndrome now. Court, yeah. I would tell exception that proves the rule. No, Syndrenner <laughs> not useful. I, if Syndrenner came into my group uh, on a thief, I'd still kick him from the squad. Whoa! I don't care if he's the best thief in the game. He's still not. Oh as man, that, that seems oh, like a. Oh man, dude. But um, he's been doing he's on his CT the stuff, though, man. He's doing Look, big dick DPS. All, I'm not he's saying, doing big I'm not dick DPS. I'm not saying Syndrenner's not a good player. I'm not saying that Syndrenner is not a good GVG or back when Thief was meta because he was. He's the he was probably the best. Um, and he was an extremely integral part to TA's uh, comp. But now, Thief just is not strong. It's not... It, it Basically, anything that Thief does is going to be better, done better by another class, and it's you're going to lose less by running it, basically. I would say Thief is the worst what class, about probably. Medic thief, but does, what about does it take anything... That or, thief. Um, does, does it really take anything from uh, from the Cirque to have a Thief in the squad? Yes. yes. Because yeah, I mean, thieves are going thieves are gonna to get one shot faster than anything else. You take up boons from another player. You take up these a slot these from are another get player. One, these are going to get one shot. Fa- Look, if we're talking just zerging, so like big groups, thirty plus, these are going to get one shot faster than anything else because they have to run in the group. Because now, with okay, so basically the reason that thieves, the reason that focus parties, the reason that staff LEs are are not as strong is because the current meta with world versus world, with GVGs, with even just general zerging, uh, is is one ball. It's a ball comp. So basically. Uh, it used to be, and this is what I was sort of talking about as far as individual play goes. Not with not with the pirate ship meta before that, although even then more so now than now. But 
uh, you, ha- you used to have a split between the range and the melee, and you still can kind of have that split, but it's not as big. And even with that split, it, you still are sort of running more of a ball comp. So you're running as one group, which means that staff alleys, when they used to be pretty much full Zerker, or, or whatever, full Marauders, or if you want to meme with Kemzo, full Selly, uh, they, they're going to get one shot if they're running really squishy on the, on the, the, the ball. Uh, thieves are going to get one shot because they don't really have any passive defensive abilities um, like Warrior does in Durpain, uh, or like Ranger has its Signet, uh, well, Druid. You're not going to run a, a Ranger, I hope. Um, but also, Elementalists and Rangers, Druids, are not running full damage builds in World vs. World anyways. They're support now. So they're also not going to get one shot. So a Thief, which, you know, its main role pretty much is damage, running a damage build in Balkomp is, is not going you know i don't i don't know every single specific trade and whatnot on, on thief but i don't think that really any defensive ability the thief has passive or otherwise is going to be enough to keep right. it alive i'm dodging man with acrobatics the perma dodge but i mean it just but okay it's infinite. while while it's, it's infinite, infinite, while that thief, it's while infinite. That thief is perma dodging, while that thief is perma dodging and shadow stepping 1200 range away from the, the the group a full zerker warrior is standing inside of the enemy group and doing you know 10k d you know well, i don't know what the uh, I, a think, lot I think of it's fifteen, fifteen K deeps. I think it's like. fifteen. Yes. I mean, it depends. Yeah. It depends on the. It depends on the actual. You know, if it's GVG or whatever. But, um, so all right, that's thief, right? So thief, thief is thief is underrepresented. Um, oh, I mean, I mean, I've... engineer is underrepresented because druids can stealth better than engineers, in my opinion. Um, the druids out heal engineers. Um, engineers get out DPS by pretty much every other meta role in GVG and and zergs. Um, so I mean, you know, th- I think engineers are also represent- underrepresented, although they're probably better than thieves. Um, core ranger isn't good. Um, I mean, really, any core class isn't going to be as good, except for guardian. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any other class that really isn't. Yeah, everything else seems to get uh, a good good out. Really. Someone said, "Hearing I speak now, I understand now why PV players feel unwelcome." I'm not really sure why. <laughs> That is because I think there are World vs. World players that want to play Thief as well, not just PVE players. Um, but I'm I'm purely talking about meta, right? I'm just talking about what's mm-hmm. the best thing to run. Um, and that would be the same as if I was talking about setting up a raid group for PV. I mean, you're not going to run... Uh, I, I don't know what would be bad to run in a in a full a full tank guardian. You're not going to run a full tank guardian in a, a PVE raid. So uh, we've done it. Now we've we've cleared that raid. I'm not I'm not talking to you, Gregor. I'm talking to Teapot. He actually ability knows for it. days. Um, so <laughs> he was he was he was in that raid. <laughs> amazingly, oh, amazingly, useless. amazingly, Roy. We have done stupider shit than that in raids, and we've cleared it. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, but that's another story. I don't know. You just gotta I, know what you're doing. I don't know. Just I, like I, a thief. And but personally, I've seen I have seen Cinder do doing. some I've seen Cinder do some crazy shit on his like insane damage on his thief. But hey, I, uh, you know that's I guess there's a, there's a difference between like open blobbing and uh, like or, proper organized uh, GVGs and roster versus roster, right? Uh, at the end of the uh, day, it's completely deteriorated wooden potatoes. Having the notion of having a front, mid, and back line strength and It's all completely everyone stand on top of each other. It's all ball. All cancer, cancer metal ball boys. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Cancer uh, There have been several leaks in the, about the next X pack. A majority of the new specs are Kandi. Do you think it's a good idea for Anet to push an even more power creep Kandi meta for X pack when they are hoping for meta to be completely changed? I don't. I the really current. hope they don't power creep. That's all I have to say about that. Really, they better not do it. Otherwise, it's going to be bad. I think in general, like it, with the new things coming into the game and just balance in general for world versus world, they kind of need. A bigger or better team, not necessarily better, but a bigger team that, to look at the balance there, because there's always obviously going to be much different factors in in the world in world versus world than there are in PvP and shit. I don't know. A lot of it seems to just be transferable or transferred to the world versus world. Uh, Nike says the stuff about the the new specs is fake news, and he does actually. Oh god, here's Cinder. Oh. Uh, I said no. I <laughs> talk, shit about, him, I talk <laughs> shit about him. I wasn't talking shit about Sudrunner. You said you never were. happened. Yeah. I didn't yeah, talk were. shit about Sudrunner. But I mean, kick him. Literally the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna kick him out of a fifty-person zone. I, I yeah, if he shows up on Thief, I'm gonna but that would be you kick him out of the squad. Yeah, just because he's playing Thief, then. 
Um, I'm, I, I, I'm not. I'm not talking shit about Sid Renner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> talking about. I'm talking shit about Arena Talents is what I'm talking shit about. I mean, but um, I mean, if they power creep Condies, then maybe they'd power creep other stuff like Condition Cleanse or Resistance anyway. I mean, realistically, they're probably they are going to put. It's incredibly likely they put Resistance on another class at least, right? Because it's only on what two classes right now. Well, you could say the same. Well. Stability too. You don't really have a wide yeah, access to and they should. stability. They, they, they than, should, right? Do you, do you not it's think? It's been how they, many years with? with yeah, yeah. No, they should. They yeah. absolutely should. So, so because like we're always, we're, we're going base guards for days right now. Like why why shouldn't there be an alternative to that at least in mm -hmm. some way? No, they absolutely yeah. should. Yeah. 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 Well, there's something yeah. else that yeah. provides stability at the same level that guarding does yeah. would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. To change up that melee meta. Yeah. Um. Also, wooden potatoes had a sort of follow up question in regards to the back line, front line, and whatnot meta deteriorating i don't know if it and i've i've been asked to talk less so if someone else wants to answer that you're more than welcome to otherwise i will you grab the question i didn't even i didn't I even listen to you i, I, you were saying you I, I was just too busy i'm too busy looking at you i, I, I can't you can't just say i do have to say i, I don't know i do enjoy the, like, the melee train maybe it, it's just the, the chaos of it i think is a lot of fun just like running around like trying to roll people over i mean i, I didn't really play uh, back when there was, you know, all the the, the various different groups with the front line oh, and the, the midline awake. back line. Inks is here. Here he is. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually generally uh, enjoying the, I, the I, melee. I, I, I think fun. I think the melee trade it's is. Fun. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's it's. it's, shit. Um, it's okay, so it's, it's organized. You're chaos. playing guardian, right? Hell yeah. If you yeah. if you had played staff early two years ago, you'd be saying no. Uh, or if you'd been playing, yeah, because you get party, the dankest meteor showers ever. Focus right? parties two years ago, you'd be saying no. Basically, so. Wooden Potatoes' follow-up question was, is it a good thing? Uh, why or why not, pretty much? Um, and no, I, I don't think it's a good thing because pretty much every single person who, Sindrenner, wanted to play Focus Party, um, and obviously that goes more towards GVGs, but I mean gank classes, which you can also you could have played in Open World This World, they can't do it anymore. Um, and so those players who wanted to play that, I mean, you haven't seen Sindrenner GVGing with anyone in two years. Uh, maybe he has his other other reasons, but probably because he can't really play Thief in, in GVGs. There's no focus party. Um, or because he's already so, ranked 2K uh, rank, and there's no reason sure, for him to really rank. play anymore, actually. And obviously, I'm just using some runners as an I example. Mean, <laughs> there are yeah. countless other players who are the same, you know, who, who played focus party. Mm -hmm. um, but so, so you know, you, basically, you got rid of the focus party. You got rid of the back line um, because now everyone's just a melee ball. And for the melee, that's good because the melee are pretty much doing the same thing they used to do. But for everyone else, I don't think it's a good thing because they had to completely change how they played. I mean, some people probably enjoyed now playing, if they enjoyed playing support before, they would enjoy playing support Ellie now or support Druid now. But, you know, I think there's a lot less variability between what you can run than there used to be. Uh, and I think that's a problem. I think any meta where only one thing is basically okay to run if you want to be competitive is a problem. I think there needs to be uh, there needs to be more options. There needs to be more variability. And I think that would lead to more interesting fights as well. So I would say that this this current meta isn't great. I prefer it over pirate ship because I'm a melee player. But you know, I mean, that's just that's just me. But I I still don't think it's a great meta. Um, well, going, I think it's better than some. But I, well, going I back to that, right? <clears throat> You said the like the melee were happy the melee because they could always do what they always always did. Uh, is that only for thief though? In the sense that thief kind of got pushed out. You know, you can make a case for for druid uh, or ranger converting from damage to straight heals. You can make it. Ellie has a Same case for going from DPS to to heals, right? So they still have a role. Uh, it's changed significantly for sure, and then whether that's more fun or less fun is dependent on the person. But thieves um, and engineers to a less extent got completely pushed out. And do you think that's more of the the reason why people are unhappy with it, or because of the the ball that it is now? Like, do you if like if a thief had had a ball meta role, do you think people would be less less upset with it, or yeah, or of not? course. What do you mean when you say people upset with it? You mean people upset with other people running it, or no, no people people who play thief, people who main thief. And I don't know they, because I don't. I never main thief. I never played thief. Maybe I mean if. Let's ask someone who plays Thief. Like if 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 I played Thief, I think probably I wouldn't want to switch to like a support role on Thief if I had main Thief for three years as a DPS gank role. Yeah. Well, Mesmer's but, made I that mean, change too. I mean, Mesmer's went pure. Right. But, yeah, support now. Yeah. yeah. But again, I think a lot of people didn't like that. I mean, it's the same thing I, just, I was saying with Ellie's. Like there were a lot of elementalists that didn't 
continue to play because they didn't want to be supportive. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I mean, there are some elementalists that still play support roles that don't want to do it. Um, and I think that would probably be the same with Thief. I mean, they that would is, have... Yeah, that's a fair perspective, they would, right? I think yeah. that probably it would be better because they would at least be able to play Thief, but they probably wouldn't... But they, I'm sure they would rather enjoy playing Thief than why they want to play Thief. Um, so, yes and no, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I think it would be great if there was a role for Thief um, in the meta. Yeah. I think there should be. What that role yeah. is... Again, I like mean, I was saying... The, the dream think, is to have a role for everyone, obviously. I think there should be more than one role for every class. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't, yeah, oh, I don't yeah. think that... Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's better yeah, parody. Look that's at this. More, okay. Acrobatic star frontliner, dude. Let's look at this fucking shit. One there. day ago. Yeah, yeah. we just we just got it added. Uh, we, send. Yeah. Look, okay, I, I will say that uh, we, like, we tested Ash at one point. Like, we tested Thief running in not like a support role um i think in in 15 so gvgs i think thief has like you can play thief i'm not completely against playing thief in 15s but they're not in i don't think you can play them in like 50s you know or like open mm-hmm. raids basically like a blob i think they would they're gonna do There's way diminishing less. returns on there's just i mean way less options and even in 15s um i think there's stuff that probably does what thief would do better um, I think Thief is, you can use it, but I think there's stuff that would play better. I mean, look, send, you know, maybe you had, well, you know, send me, like, send me a video yeah. of that. I would love to see, I would love to see. He has a playlist play. of three but different but Yeah, videos. there's, there's four a, videos, man. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's there's going ahead. There's a big difference between he, somebody like Sin playing Thief and your average person playing Thief. Not to, well, not to pump him up a bit, but like, and obviously you can learn it, but there's, there's a big skill disparity. Between yeah, there's, there's a there's a giant skill disparity between the regular uh, random guardians, just base guardians that clutter up most of but, the. Uh, but it's a lot easier to starts. attain that, right? Because you're just you're literally just pressing, stand your ground. After that, I don't really care what you do. To be honest, as long as you give me stability, uh, and you use your heal shout, like you're, you're golden with me. With, with a thief though, you get, there's a lot more so to, you'd be, rather, to be working you'd on. You'd rather uh, take a shitty guardian than a impressive thief are you um well i don't know well the, those in this, are in this video roles. in this video send i mean i don't know if you if you had any sort of dps meters or anyone else did but were you out dpsing warriors i mean you can look at the the numbers he's easily critting 10 have any? you ever seen a warriors gameplay <laughs> i don't really watch warrior gameplay it bores me 40k deeps i mean if he's look i'm not like he's obviously not dying which is the main concern i would have with a thief running um but, uh, I'd be sure, Rim. Um, well, if, look, I mean, if that build is viable for Thief in open raids, great. Let's start running it. But I think most Thieves that are running in World versus World aren't running that build. Um, but it's on Meta Battle now, look, isn't it? It's on Meta I'll be, Battle I'll be, now. But it is yeah. on the experimental I'll be the first section. One, I'll be the first one to say, if, if Thief is useful, I'm going to, I'll, I'll take it. Like, I'm, I had, I have no problem with Thief as a, like because they're a thief, I have a problem with thief mm. because I think they're less useful than other stuff. But if they're if they're good now, great, it's fine with me. I haven't seen this build before. This is the first time I've seen it. So, um, you know, there you, well, go. you need, you need good players to enter the game mode before uh, you can uh, revitalize uh, any uh, any uh, assumptions. That's just uh, my the, well, I think the world versus world meta is far less well defined than the, any other meta. Uh, I think it's easily where you see the most slight differences in build variations in of any game mode. Like PvE I mean, is like is incredibly rigid, and PvP also, is pretty goddamn rigid as well. Uh, whereas in in World vs. What, I think you actually do see a lot of variation. So, but like there, there's also a greater incentive in World vs. World to have variation. You don't want 15 guardians running strength in numbers. I mean, as the meta battle uh, thing says. I mean, you're just gonna you're over capping there's no use for it why not just take another trade i mean and it's also well, less significant like right it's also less significant because it, it, as people say in chat it's like it's kind of good enough right uh it, you can you can kind of get away with running a like mildly inadequate build because of how many players are involved right as long as everyone else everyone's kind of running a decent build you're probably gonna have a good time and eventually yeah, if, you, if, if it comes if it if the groups are very evenly matched in terms of 
numbers are there, then you, yeah, like maybe the builds will give you an edge. But I think there's a bit more flexibility in the way World vs. World so, actually works in that so way. So Wooden Potatoes asks, so that's an interesting discussion. How well defined is the World v. World meta? Is there much wiggle room compared with, say, raiding or SPVP? Yeah. And that that's more of a scale thing, for sure. Like, like not to say that the meta isn't heavily conditioned and heavily ball-focused on, on any scale, but... Certain groups can definitely run outside of it, and you'll have different varying levels of success depending on, one, who you're playing against and uh, who you're playing with. So there's certain groups that uh, Ag, for instance, played a range comp when they came back. Like They played Pirate Ship, and it didn't do very well, but that's how they wanted to play it. But when uh, when they went out Zerging with it, it works well because you can kind of spread out. You can kind of play that cloud formation, right? And you have a group like VR on Mag who who still runs some some version of ball, but, but they don't focus... Uh, so heavily on sustain, right? They, they go pure DPS. They run dragon hunters for their guards. They don't run uh, base guardian with it. So you can you can wiggle with it a bit, but um, it's still kind of, there's a heavy guideline or there's a heavy uh, on rails aspect to it. Uh, if I may give a, a similar uh, perspective or somewhat similar perspective, uh, in getting back into uh, World vs. World now that with the PIP system and all, I've heavily leaned on two, uh, two good buddies uh, who were long-standing uh, World vs. World uh, players. And um, they both come from a background of like uh, heavy, uh, like GVG, uh, what's it called? Those, those uh, like... Uh, Hit, hit hard and run kind of thing or not run but like uh they're really good uh guilds at fighting big blobs on man uh, outnumbered right anyways um they both kind of had uh different um different builds very very varying uh builds in many perspectives uh but most significantly in how much power you would take to the fight and it seemed like the the general consensus was that the better your squad is as a whole, the more uh, lenient uh, your entire build uh, for everyone is to take more uh, def uh, offensive things. Exactly. Like if your entire squad is super good, take more, take five hundred more power, and you're well, you're just going to yeah. be that much better off. It's just mo but if being uh, effective as a group is such a huge part of World versus War. Right? Being yeah. being very coordinated is is a huge component that it will uh, make the squad massively more powerful uh, yeah. over just like just having a build. It's the same in it's the same in any game in the same in any game mode, though, right? Like having a really good group synergy massively makes your group more powerful. Um, it, it's not the builds will get you so far, but it's at the end of the day, it is it's like it is the communication and the the play between the players that makes it truly great. Yeah. What the hell are these smokes say, guys? More that worries? requires people getting into communication, though. Some people don't want to do that. Yeah, but when you do, it's way better. Uh, yeah. Should we close on this question? Uh, I kind of answered it in chat, but let's get some different perspective on that. Uh, Crom the Pale is asking us, what do what do World vs. World players want out of World vs. World? Yeah, I wanted and, to tell uh, you we're wrong, yeah. Deepa. Fun. It's fun, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's I only want ascended gear. No, well, it's fun, right, what, what, and I want it faster wait, than anybody what, else. What, what did you... than anyone it's what of what people want out of it. It's fun. Um, yeah. But what Chrome said is correct. I mean, different people think different stuff is fun. Yeah. I mean, for me, the reason I got really into World versus World was for two reasons. One was the community aspect, and the second was just because personally, I like it's it's more competitive against other players than PVE, um, and obviously PVP is more competitive against other players than PVE as well, but I was interested in the large scale aspect of it as well. And also I started commanding pretty much right away when I got into World of the World and I really liked it. Um, so, I mean, I think it's probably more personal for people, but I think the, the RVR, I mean, it's, it's the RVR aspect of, of, of Guild Wars 2, obviously. Um, and I think that's what would attract people to World of the World right away would be my guess. Intrinsic oh, value. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would just, I, like, I, you know. it's just the community and just having fun and just going crazy. I mean, obviously, you know, it, it's different to find is, but I it's believe competitive aspect. It's just having fun with team. It's just being being organized, all that stuff, right? It's it's well, what everyone's in it for. At the end of the day, it's I, kind of fun, right? I it's a, it's that, a good it's a good game uh, mode, guys. It's a good game mode. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So rude, interrupting you. Oh, what the fuck? I, I, I believe quiet. that all, all, all game modes in general should have uh, varying uh, degrees or di very different, uh, but loads of different uh, incentives to play it. Be that both uh, extrinsic and intrinsic. Like, there should be 
uh, rewards for the players that just want rewards. There should be fun gameplay. I mean, it's, it's just, yeah, it's different for everyone. And I think that's been uh, a huge, uh, huge argument in the World as Well community, as far as I understand in general, where there's no real consensus on what everyone wants or what everyone finds to be fun. And that's kind of fine, I think. Okay. Roy looks focused. Right. Yeah. Roy, is, he's, he's typing. <laughs> Roy's rage being sure, Yeah, he's, 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 flame. he's about to flame. Oh, he's about no, to bring not, the it's heat. Not, it's, it's in game. Uh, I got a, oh. I got a, yeah. yeah. The salty dog some, going some, off? Some lad talking to me. No, oh, yeah? no. Um, some lad. Okay. All right. Um, oh, hi, Jebro. All right, so we, we're finishing up then? Yeah. I think we Good. can kind of close it off there. And let's uh, let's just do a little bit of shilling, shall we? Follow Inks on Twitter. Oh, I I want to. Following, sure. yeah, following, following Inks on Twitter. Uh, I oh yeah, I'm rolling. But yeah, and I think oh, we're going to start off it? today with a long-awaited return of our boy Deroya. Hey. What's on the menu? What's on the menu on in the Deroya channel coming Best up? Let's pitchfork. Uh, but actually, uh, what the people have been asking for for a long time, I actually have a. Uh, uh, a video to put out uh, this coming week, Woo! which is a uh, very interesting a, a lore video. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. People are gonna hate it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Then let's uh, go over to the top left corner. It is a newcomer to tea time. It's Gregor. Uh, what do you yeah. do these days? You're not only are you the premier GVG player on na but also <laughs> rank one in pve raids as well that, that just, is true just lay it on uh, us dude lay it on you us. know um uh, i'm kind of a gvg elitist you know uh, i've been in thousands of them i think now i can't even remember but uh yeah do stream mostly world versus world uh, i should post on eu with teapot when he lets me uh, other than that yeah just world versus world na on tier one tier two stuff like that all right Beautiful stuff. Be sure to check out uh, Gregor the Bot is posting links to everyone here. Uh, and also Roy as well. Go follow him on Twitter, guys. But yeah. Roy, do you want to have anything you want to give any shout outs? Want to shout out your Twitter, for example? You going to do anything No, else? Twitter is stupid. Um, oh, oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I only made it with Jebro's request. Uh, <laughs> go, uh, Thieves, start, start playing Syndrenner's build. Haha. Uh -huh. um, and uh, also the uh, shout outs to the uh, Jebro's PvP tournaments. Um, the EU one just finished today. Um, so congrats to, I think, 55 won that. Um, but the NA tournament is going to be a week from today, starting 2 p.m. EST. Um, and then Jebro and some asshole are shoutcasting that. So uh, you should go watch it. And yeah, that's that's me. All right. Okay. Oh. And then finally, it's me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream today. It's It's been a crazy intense tea time. We, we got some... Woo! It was spicy. Woo! Mmm. Mm. Yeah. It was the good stuff. It was it was it was getting yeah. crazy in the chat, guys. So I think it's definitely worth a follow. Uh, and and at, at the end of the day. Oh yes, I follow Teapot. That's yes. right. Subscribe to Teapot as well. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. And Greg, and yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Amazon. Get that Amazon Prime rolling, guys. I see a few people with those crowns. You know what to do, guys. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, you can follow me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch if you want. I stream all the time. There's PVE. There's World vs. World. There's exactly. there's a it, there's tea time. We we got everything here, guys. Um, but I mean, if you aren't convinced already, then nothing I'm gonna say is gonna convince you. But make sure to follow me on Twitter as well, guys. Not MMO Inks, guys. Oh, follow man. me on Twitter. Cyan okay? is Cyan is saying follow Roy on Twitter and look at the staff yeah, thief yeah. bill. Feels good. <laughs> That's great. That is the best thing ever. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. We're gonna host someone and we'll uh, we'll see you guys all right. later.